now. So I told her last night. <laughs> We're leaving that in. We're leaving it I in. I guess so, because I was going to go with intro message here. But then Dakota had to be an ass. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That, then there's a bowl of something that fell. Yeah, the bowl can stay. God damn it, I spilled my fucking french fries. What were you doing with french fries in a bowl? Don't worry about it. It's supposed to be in your <laughs> fist, shoving it in your face. This is the intro, everybody. Welcome to the Transformers and Santa song where we talk about french fries in a bowl. What's I, next? Pizza with a fork and a knife? You'll never know. I do have an interesting story. I was walking down the, the road today, mm-hmm. and uh, I, I actually found a, a wizard hat. <laughs> and inside was a was a bag of m and so it was a pretty good day. Oh, is that all there was? No, there was also nothing because I lied. <laughs> Oh Just really? Like a wizard. Oh really? Oh, beating a wizard and you're lying to me. Oh really? My wizard power is lying. <laughs> <laughs> the wizard powers are the ooh. <laughs> the ooh. I love titling movies and shows with ooh. The oomer. Santa Claus three. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan, if co- we. Ever fucking officially start a campaign? Every time you cast a spell, it's just that sound. <laughs> Every Ooh. time you will have to physically make that sound after you tell me what you're casting. I'm good with that. No, he needs to find an <laughs> item first that's like called the Ring of the Ooh, and whoever wears it has to no. say Ooh whenever they do this. Ring of the Ooh! I have ideas, trust me. <laughs> well, good. I can't wait to play them. Some of them I am getting off of TikTok. Oh no. <laughs> you gotta oh. do the um oh that one fucking dance everybody did. There's so what, what the fuck kind of laugh was that by the way? <laughs> it just went like full evil scientist just now. That was a genuine evil laugh. <laughs> I, I will now go to TikTok. Zach, can you do that again for for something? I don't even know how. I, that was a genuine laugh. Just try it. I don't know. Just try it. What is, the is, only other time I've heard you laugh like that was at the beginning of uh, the freaking Jeopardy video where you fucking cackled like that. <laughs> I did? Yeah. <laughs> did you not watch the video? I did, but I don't remember. I need. Yeah, it, was, it was literally right at the beginning. I. <laughs> okay, Dakota, impersonate that laugh. <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> I was trying to get that going throughout the whole time. <laughs> Great knock knock joke. God, how the fuck do you spell your username? <laughs> I somehow have forgotten how to spell your fucking username. Uh, okay, we're, we're all... M-A-R-K-I-T-I-L-E-R. Uh, or I-E-R. Yeah, uh, uh, you know what? I'll do it the easy way and hope to God I'm actually logged in or subscribed. Probably not. I mean, who would? I... We... <laughs> you know, we'll have to find out in this fucking thousand follower fucking video. Here, hold on. I'll find it. I know. This is my task and my task alone. While you're finding that, I got a story. Another one? Yeah. yeah. Really? But this one hand? is true. Oh, I don't believe you. So, kind of a spoiler to a future unboxing, but uh, I've been wanting the Ghostbusters car ever since it first came out, because one of my childhood movies was the fucking Ghostbusters. The fucking Ghostbusters? <laughs> The fuckbusters? It, it's just uh, Dan Aykroyd getting sucked off by a ghost over and over again. The ghost fuckers? Yes. Also, I Go forgot ahead. to bring out my notes. <laughs> you might need that. Yeah. I, I, mm, I'll get that now. Go get it. Alright, gosh dang now. 
What? Yeah, get his notes. He's going to pick his notes. I'm going to somehow have to go ahead and charge my laptop for no reason. Well, that whose fault is that really? Uh, the laptop, because it's a piece of shit. What? Yeah, I heard. We're delaying the inevitable. I'm just going to be disappointed by it. Cat, stop interrupting! Until I say. Did you fucking say to me? I, I said <laughs> stop. Say? Zat said stop interrupting. <laughs> no, he fucking didn't. She could tell when the Canadians said, I'm being defended. You fucking say that shit to me. I'll what fight you. What the fuck you say to me? I'll avoid it. Wherever you live, Canada. Oh man, if only this episode was recorded. Oh no, it got deleted somehow. And then we'll stay there because you have better health care. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. You don't want to see me, you'll go visit Brian. I see how it is. Well, we got the free health care, so that's a bonus. It's fine. It's fine, Larry. I'll kick Brian's ass, and then we'll come see you. Problem solved. The problem is you will. me. Fine, you we'll all kick your ass. Your <laughs> we'll all join together to kick someone's ass. We'll all How's join together in together? harmony to oh, kick that right. ass. We'll form the we'll form Voltron. <laughs> but not in, like we're, we're not going to be the lion in the lions. We're just going to be the arms and legs of them. Larry, you'll drive to our apartment. We'll carpool to Zat's house and pick him up. Then we'll all go to Brian's house. Then we'll all team up and kick. Uh, Hit, uh, Brian's sister's ass. I don't know. Why would you know? <laughs> no. Well, uh, Dakota, I have good news. <laughs> Two pieces of good news. I finally fucking found you, and you have a new subscriber. <laughs> <laughs> I could have sort of subscribed to you, but it, I don't know. It's, I want to just watch the video. <laughs> I was subscribed to someone named I thought you just rebranded yourself Okay, bleeping that out I didn't <laughs> mean it like that But Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll just take that out Because I am Yeah Yeah. Alright You moron <laughs> Alright, so starting the recording now Hey guys <laughs> No, we're keeping that I shitty haven't... intro in <laughs> Damn, that was a laugh. Okay. <laughs> All right, so. Anyways, back to my story about the Ghostbusters. Yeah. So. We're finished. No, I I've been wanting to get that for about a year, or according to Larry, two years. And yeah. So... Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez, I just to be had you. a misunderstanding. It uh, felt like two years is what it was. Uh. Oh, shit. Twenty twenty. <laughs> anyway, so I, I I wanted to get that thing. Totally missed out because EB Games just wiped it clean, and every time I'd find a new store that would have it, they sell out right away. Uh, so I thought, okay, I'm probably never going to get it. I thought I would get it at the Toy Fair, but they never put it out. And then recently, EB Games was like, oh, we're gonna we're gonna put this out in, in online stores, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool. So my sister. Who is very nice, and sh and everyone could shut up. Uh, <laughs> she helped me uh, get it, and um, the funny part about it is, I could have gotten it this weekend by now because apparently it was in the store. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Yeah. But that's going to segue into our, our first topic. Back to the Future <laughs> is, is really lame and a dumb movie that no one should like. Brian, I'm going to shit in your mouth. I can't hear through bleeding ears. <laughs> well, we then you're not trying hard enough, Zach. Huh? Well, then you're not trying hard enough, Zach. Huh? Well, then you're not trying hard enough, Zach. Huh? Well, then you... Huh? 
Oh. 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 Anyways, Back to the Future. Back to the Future, the best movie ever. Yes. Uh, it, it, it's a good movie. It's the, the Drama Island extraordinaire. Old Drama Fight. Island, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Unequivocally, the best movie Back to the Future. Oh. oh, sorry, I just couldn't get over what we just did. I can't get over what we just did. Oh. Back to the Future made us into gooses. Is that what you're laughing about? Ah, uh, typical. Back to the Future making people gooses. It's the untitled goose movie. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't want to try that game. I, oh, fuck, I could have got it for free, too. Wait, can I still? Cool. I need to find this out. Get Goat Simulator. I fuck goats. I've actually played it. Yeah. Me, me too. I... Where's your let's play? I broke the ground. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're laughing, but I literally managed to get under the map. I'm not surprised with well, that game. Future. Back to back the future. To so, uh, apparently this is going to be revealed next week, as of the time of the recording this, and it seems like it's going to be the DeLorean. It almost looks like they're teasing the flight mode, so hopefully that it will have both. Yeah, I'd hope for yeah. both. A remold of Astro Train into the time-traveling train. <laughs> Everyone keeps saying I that! I'd love I mean, that. I'm pretty sure there's pictures involved, but I am now on a mission to find shit now. There's so. only a logo for it right now. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, those fuckers suck. Right? No purchase from me. You sound I, like I think... a typical Transformers fan. Well, see, I missed out that there's apparently it's going to get revealed next week, but it makes sense because July 3rd is when that movie came out 35 years ago. So, makes sense. Oh, yeah, that's right. Holy fuck. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh... Older than Back to the Future, fuck. <laughs> I want to see an accessory where it's the pink hoverboard, and it's got 5 millimeter ports to uh, plug it on and other things. I wish I thought of that. Someone else did, but yeah. I, I just want it to be awesome and sexy and beautiful. Okay. I just... I just... I just... Just... Well, I just, that's it. That's all I'm saying is I just. It. Yep. Just. I just Dean? No. Oh. <laughs> I Carly. Oh, okay. Oh, <laughs> vastly superior. Yes. I know you see somehow the world will change for me. <laughs> He's so wonderful. <laughs> Every situation a Drake and Josh. <laughs> Anyways, I, yes, I want to see. I, I wonder what this is going to be a remold of, if anything. They might just yeah. make a new mold. And when it came to the Ghostbusters car, they just wanted to start off with uh, kind of reusing something. So maybe this is just going to be brand new. Because that Maverick toy looks new to me. It doesn't look like a remold of anything. No, I don't. People want to keep saying it's like Blitzwing, but I keep looking at it and it's like nothing really shared with it other than the body. It, it's obviously very clearly a remold of Shadow Raider. Obviously. It's a remold of Siege Chromia. Which is a remold of The Last Night Barricade, which is a remold of The Last Night Storm, which is a remold of Masterpiece Barricade years later. Which right, is, now you're just listing off things in your, your fucking room. Which is a remold of <laughs> the Batman legacy on VHS with four VHSs. <laughs> they melted it down. <laughs> and yes, I am listing stuff off my collection because that's on my shelf. It's a remold of the Voltron Legendary Defender Voltron. I got my Voltron stuff beside the VHS! <laughs> Are you looking at my shelf? I'm just looking at stuff on my in my shelf and down here in the living room, which is also a remold of the the puppet Yoda from Episode One. Oh, where's that on my shelf? All I got is a Darth Vader helmet. 
Which is a remold of the Gundam model I have, like the five of them. I don't remember specifics about. I've got this lovely beige wall. I have my DVD. Beige wall. My living room. I have this lovely desk with a bunch of shit in it. Beige wall and Super Nintendo. Oh, hey, look, maybe you. With my copy of Ultimate Spider Man on GameCube. Looking at my. Never got to play that one, but I heard it was good. I like it. I like you. I like Spider Verse. Larry, are you trying to get into my pants? Because you're about to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, 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 yeah. He slowly <laughs> approaches. Remember, remember, it's save it for your TFA after dark. But uh, I've wetted Larry, my I pants. Already had... I, I've wetted my pants. I need a new pair. Larry, I was already getting sus at work with my boss. It might as well just come to its logical conclusion of being sus, sus with you guys. <laughs> System. Can I also say something? I had a dream. I should mention this. <laughs> I, I don't know. After I, those comments, I'm gonna. Which start. one of I, us do you have sex? I don't know how to segue into this. I just remember, and I'm like, <laughs> I need to talk about this. You think the worst segue you could have? I had a dream where I thought, hey, maybe I should do a, a shitty video. So. To, to fuck with Larry. So what I did was I had a camera outside and I just filmed my backyard with my fence. And I animated a stick figure jumping over the fence and rushing to the camera. But it's got Larry's face melted <laughs> And I woke up and I was like, man, I gotta do that. Wait. To scare me, you make a video of me. <laughs> In the stick I'm gonna figure. Sit there. Did you think I was going to watch it and be like, ah! <laughs> Yes, yeah. because it was like, it just ran up to the camera and it was like, what the fuck was that? <laughs> You're going to put me on the SCP website because of that. I don't want that. But it looked like a, a like a horror found footage thing of the stick figure that's what, with your That's what I'm face. saying. I don't want you to put me on a fucking creepypasta forum. <laughs> the only question I have is like, what's the stick figure with their heads running out the camera? Like, okay, but did it have a sensor bar? <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> if I ever become a cryptid, I would have to be naked. It's required. <laughs> Hey guys, did you hear the? Did you hear the new horror thing, Sensor Bar? Because if you actually ever make that, Brian, I hope you fucking do. Just after cuts to black, just put Larry for twenty twenty four. With the Thomas the Tank Engine theme going on with it. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. And it just plays on repeat. It's like a gif. Larry, yeah, what? I, I'm just imagining you from your freaking um, uh, that, that your presidency video, your last one, where you're rampaging in your garage naked. I'm just imagining that, but you as like a Godzilla kaiju doing it to like Japan. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's freaking out. They think I'm like destroying Japan. I'm really just trying to get in. I'm trying to enjoy the time there, my col the culture there. But I'm just too big for anything. <laughs> But you do copyright to go legal reasons. I want sushi house, damn it! Ah! all over the place. But due to copyright reasons, it's not. Still, we should run like it is, Godzilla! He said the joke. He said the funny joke. <laughs> Free real estate. Stop passing like Twitter, Dakota. <laughs> More like Facebook, am I right? Or like Reddit, am I right? Speaking no. of Reddit. Should oh, we talk about the Red Series? Yeah! <laughs> we're still well, what else do we have to say about the Back to the Future? It's Car that's we doing it. Know. We got segwayed by fuck buddies in your dream. It, it's gonna be a remold of uh, Siege Swindler. <laughs> Could you imagine? That's, Could you imagine? That's, called Marty McFuck you? That's, uh, that, that's a figure I... that's based on a DeLorean already. Yeah, but it's like the size of your thumb. Do you have pretty big thumbs, though? Uh, so, um, well, my thumb is exactly the size of Swindler. That's why I put that comparison in. 
And by thumb, he means penis. But anyways, go on. I actually, I actually looked it up. What, your yeah. penis? And I love how the picture is, okay, here's robot mode. Here's car mode. Here's them having sex. They literally just put them <laughs> on top of each other. Oh, yeah. Here's two cars getting plowed. Here's the robot mode. Here's the car mode. Here's the sex mode. That I did a review saying that that alt mode is pure garbage, pure terrible, and then just used to make weapons. But now you just made it ten times better. Thank you. Thank you for well, your service. I can literally just show you the picture. They're just on top of each other. I know what alt mode you're talking about. Decision? That's supposed to be a weapon mode? Yeah. Yeah. Right? That's gay porn. <laughs> What are we looking at? Gay porn. Robo erotica. Swindler. We're I looking will, at I Tumblr. Will, Swindler. Swindler on Tumblr. Swindler on Tumblr. Goes into. Oh. Yeah, but uh, I'm ready. If it gets revealed next week, hell yeah, I'm ready for it. And I assume, I assume as soon as it gets revealed, it'll be up on Pulse to pre-order and. You better bet your sweet bippity I'm going to be pre-ordering it. You bet your sweet bippity I won't. Whoa. Why? I the think one. the image showed up. I just see... There it is. Okay, it just took fucking forever. Oh, that's the gay porn you were talking about. Uh, yeah. Give me 9 95 uh, I'll stick with the free porn hub. Premium's free, so... Up until sure. quarantine's over, then probably still be free. <laughs> so, take a look at the red stuff. So these are robot enhanced designs, I think that's what they're called. Basically, they're just action figures that don't transform, and people are complaining about that because oh, they should transform because transforming. <laughs> but and then also some people are saying that it's lazy, and it's like. There's an intended purpose for this. You get no kibble getting in the way. They're nice display pieces of just the action figures themselves. And you need, I need to make this point. Transformers is a brand name, okay? You get statues. You get uh, basic figures. You, you get uh, other stuff that aren't just the normal transforming figures. And it's not like you don't get the transforming figures still. They still exist. This is just another line that you can get if you want just... Action figure transformers. Um, it's just a Hasbro sanctioned Rebel Tech. Exactly. It's, and like, I I sat there and watched this, and I've you know for a while I've sat there and wanted, like, the Star Wars Black series, the the Marvel whatever that series is called. Legends. Uh, Legends. Okay, I thought so. But like those series of like you know those twenty dollars very poseable figures. You know, not the best thing, but like you know, cool enough. I've always wanted Transformers like that, and they don't have to transform. Because, like, a cool, poseable Optimus Prime would be awesome. A cool, yeah. poseable Megatron. Uh, Soundwave is shown. And it's just, like, all this kind of stuff. And I, I genuinely liked it. I understand the, the frustration of that. Of, like, oh, it's it's a Transformer. It should transform. But it's, like, not all of them it's have to. Over it. No, I was going to say, I actually own three of the actual Marvel Legends figures. And, yeah, I mean... They can be stiff at times. Like, I just grabbed my Iron Man one. It's like, they sometimes don't like to stand properly. You gotta fidget with it. But they look fucking nice. Yeah. You just gotta work with it and get what works properly. Like, he has interchangeable hands where he can put his uh, repulsor blast on. And they can be a little heavy. But if you position them just right, they'll be fine. Right. Um... I just think this is cool because, like, yeah, you're going to, you know, the best Optimus Prime figures still have all this kibble on it. So why not have just a cool poseable Prime that does all this cool stuff and you just sacrifice a little bit of the transforming? I'll get it from my Optimus Prime shelf. And even then, a good point for this, too, is if you're the kind of person who buys the Transformers figures and leaves them in the box, here's something to play with. Exactly. And, and here's another thing. As soon as I saw these, I thought these would make good display case figures. Yeah. yeah. These are 
right down here in my living room in my apartment. All my Transformers are in my room, just on the shelf. Down here in my like living room, I don't have really any Transformers down here, except for that G1 reissue Optimus Prime. But I would totally like put those down here as like you know, this is my my Transformers collection for down here. This is the things I like for my guests to look at and look at my shelf and be like, here's the basics of what I'm interested in. And you can use those. You don't have to like give it to somebody and they'll try to fiddle it or whatever. You just be like, here's a cool little Optimus Prime. And even then, if people who like actually making their own fight scenes, hey, guess what? You don't have shit flapping open. <laughs> right. And, and someone kept calling these dumb. And it's like, they're not dumb, because there's an intended purpose for this. It's meant to be just the action figure itself. And it's got an intended purpose. It, it's, it's got a reason to do this. It's not dumb. And it's not like we haven't had Transformers toys that do something similar or don't transform or anything like that. It, again, this is why I keep saying Transformers is a brand name. It, it doesn't necessarily imply that every single product that comes from Transformers is required to transform. It is one of right. the big, big key components of most of the toy line, but not every single figure is going to do that. There was the, the Titan uh, figures that, yes, they're not good either, but, you know, that's another, that that's like something on the side. But, uh, the, again, most of those didn't transform. Because that wasn't the, the purpose of them. No, it's basically meant to be able to have something. Like, this is this iconic thing. Yeah, they might come with their vehicle forms as a separate thing down the line for these things. To be like, hey, you could just have both. They they, they got the those already. They got the Jada toys. They are uh, <laughs> just the vehicles. Yeah. I did not know about those. They're like die-cast Hot Wheels, but they're uh, they're just the Transformers cars. I think they do other brands too. I... Oh, you're talking. I was talking like not yeah. tiny ones. <laughs> yeah, no, no, the big Wait. like I would yeah. say like one eighteenth or something. Wait, yeah. Well, also, yeah. wasn't there just a line of Transformers cars where they were just cars with the robot modes plastered underneath? Yeah, the Speed uh, something I think. Speed Stars or whatever. Speed Stars. That's it. I have the lead foot. I love them. You're good. Thank you. Uh, and they're also very masterpiece-like. That Optimus Prime straight up looks like MP44. I didn't want to pay six hundred dollars for it, and 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 this looks like the robot. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, but see, I like MP44. Well, I'm just kidding. <laughs> well, I, I I prefer MP10. Is what I'm saying. That's why I'm yeah. But uh, that's what's all. Yeah, these things are beautiful and flaw. Like, and that's the thing is like the Megatron is like probably the best masterpiece ever created, but like the back of it's not appealing because of all it has to do with this thing here. It, it doesn't, you know, have to have any of that. It just no. has to look flawless. Soundwave is awesome. The MP Soundwave is great. But there's still stuff hanging off his legs. This thing doesn't have any of that. No, and the uh, fact that too, I just like I actually finally clicked the fucking link when I found it and looking at the pictures closer. These things are fucking beautiful. They look so G1 accurate. I will exactly. say some of the line work could have been a little better and uh some of the paint could have been better. Like you see on Optimus Prime's face, the eyes kind of blend into the, the, the face itself. Yeah. Oh, little I say you could have used like a little black around the edges. All I'm hearing is uh, my name is Brian Johnson and I hate the Transformers Red series. That's all I'm hearing too. If it's not you, one of the Transformers crap! Thank you, Twitter. Which is funny because I... people are complaining about the G1 reissue, but we'll get into that later. Yeah. Still? Yeah. You will see. Uh, but like. There's I kind of a reason for it's that, though. But, yeah, yeah. I, think, I don't look at the news. I think with these, um, 
I wish I knew what the exact size of them because in the video they showed, you know, the guy was actually holding these things. But like, I want to say they're like deluxe size, probably right, or Voyager, maybe. They're about deluxe price, so maybe taller than a deluxe, but I don't know. Yeah, that might be the case because like you don't, there's not enough engineering to ask for that much money. But either way, if they're Voyager size, I'm definitely buying that Soundwave because that's that's amazing, and of course the Optimus. It's funny that but, people complain. Of, oh, sorry, go ahead. But were we going to discuss that they're not just doing G1 ones? Yes, uh, I'll talk about that in a sec. But um, okay. uh, the funny part about this is I heard people complain about these. But we got the, I think they're called Super 7. And then we got some of those little action things that people make the comparison between this and Action Masters. Meanwhile, we have something that's literally like Action Masters. Yeah. And they're like, what, 12 or 15 bucks? They they're, are. They're expensive. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's a good reaction. Wow. Well, I was trying to see where to find it. It said the size of it, but it says six inch action figure series. So, so it's that's about a normal deluxe. Hold on. Where's my, where's my, where's my hammer? Where's, <laughs> let's see here. Where? Okay. If my foot is this, if my foot is a foot, my foot is this long. <laughs> That's all I have now. My here. foot is this many. <laughs> My foot is a foot. Welcome to the Transformers Insane Song. My foot is a foot. <laughs> Three or I'm four. <laughs> I mean, how tall are the actual Marvel Legends series? Are they about six inches? I think they They're are. Six inches. Then I'm holding him right here in my hand. A that foot? should be about accurate. Are you I don't have a camera I can't show anybody. <laughs> wow, sir! If I, can I don't remember own a webcam. If I can remember correctly, then if I just base that on my size and my mental gymnastics here, yeah, that's going to be like a little bit bigger than a deluxe, maybe a little bit Voyager size. But yeah, they're just 20 bucks. That's fine by me. That is not that bad. They can jack up the price like you're doing so many other things. <sighs> But with Optimus Prime, Megatron, and Soundwave... Uh, sorry, are we not going to speak about somebody's <laughs> orgasmic pleasure? <laughs> are, are... Wait, what the fuck was that? Zach, just let the turtles have sex. Orgasmic, Dakota, not ethnic. Oh, where the fuck did you get ethnic? You know the ethnic turtle moaning sound? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of which, we also have a listing for more Red Series stuff. Oh, God! <laughs> so, was, oh, go ahead. What was funny was whenever in the video, they were like, what's Megatron without his right hand man? And I, I genuinely said to myself, like, oh, Starscream. And I then did they, too. And then they pulled out Soundwave. I was like, okay, I'm cool with that. <laughs> the funny thing about Soundwave is his cassette looks so small. First of all, I wish they just had Laserbeak in his robot mode, because, like, all these are robot modes. Why not have Laserbeak join that group? But no, he's a cassette. Second, he looks so small in the chest that it's like putting the Siege figure in the masterpiece. Yeah. I, I didn't like that, but I sat there and was like, well, what am I going to what am I, what am I gonna do? Uh, not buy another one. You'll scream uh, as loud as you can and then explode. I was at work, good sir, while watching this. Okay. So scream louder. He was already okay. doing an alpha move of screaming it. I was moving stuff around in our set, and I was just like... <laughs> Anyways, okay, so the Optimus Prime, Megatron, and Soundwave, I thought, okay, these are cool, but they're also, you know, typical G1-based figures. I would like something different. Then we got these listings. So the first one I want to bring up is... Transformers Red Series action figure. 
I can't believe they're finally making action figures. Dude, I am so happy. I'm There's so, so much action to be had. <laughs> all, the, all these years of, like, him... I'm glad. There's I'm so really much glad. action and so much figure. And it has a woolaloo. <laughs> Brian, Brian can't say, Brian can't say that word. Yeah, that's our <laughs> wizard word. I just, I, I tried making a joke, and just remembering the entire thing of I'm going to have to deal with that bullshit, I couldn't finish the sentence. But, uh, <sighs> during this time, and our, in, in, in this lifetime, and, and all this, I'm glad we got that. I'm glad we, he's got his limelight. I say that's a win. We also have B, so Bumblebee. Woo-hoo. I'd imagine. I like to imagine that being six inches. They just overscale him, everybody else. He's eight inches tall. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to help, Frank. I will be the Scout Optimus. Boosh, boosh, boosh. <laughs> They'll never you find me over here. To Megatron. You literally just have Grimlock looking at Bumblebee, just going, that's a bit excessive. I, I want Bumblebee to sneak around being like, They'll never find me. Boosh, boosh, boosh. I'm watching Megatron, and Megatron turns around and is like, you hear something? No, actually, it, it would, it's, it's a moment that I found hilarious that actually happened on a D&D podcast I watch, where this would be perfect for that moment. You have a giant bubble running through, <laughs> just going, I'm going to stealth. While the enemy is looking at him, and Bumblebee just screams, "I'm being stealthy!" and they all just look down and turn away. Yeah. <laughs> turn away? Stop. What? Run away? Stop looking! I'm being stealthy right I now. Stop looking! Because like, he rolled hey. to intimidate them, they got too afraid to say he no. was being seen, so they just ignored him. Hey, fuck boy! Stop looking at me! I'm being stealthy. Do you not know what a scout is? God, I can't wait till we start. This is going to be such a nightmare. <laughs> I'm just a kid and my life is a nightmare. We also have uh, Cheetor listed on here. So thank God for that. That's cool. You've got your other bumblebee. <laughs> yeah. My my animal bumblebee. <laughs> yeah, bumblebee and then animal bee. But it's a cheetah. Shut up. It's a bee. You hear that? That's what are you like Wildcats doing? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's what Cheetor does when he runs. He just... <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I was thinking of that one Beast Wars clip where Cheetor is running next to Cheetos and he's like, what are you Wildcats doing? And they're like, Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I, I know the scene, episode fucking one. <laughs> Who we'll brings you out here, Wildcat? Well, <laughs> <laughs> we had Cheetor to misfortune. <laughs> <laughs> and can I have the voice of Peter Griffin? Holy crap, it's me, Cheetor. <laughs> Holy oh. crap. There's a running <laughs> there's a running joke that where uh, someone kept egging me on to have sideswipe as uh, with the voice of Peter Griffin, and I'm like, no, because there's no joke behind that. It's just hello, I'm trying to Peter Griffin. This means have rat trap is Quagmire. <laughs> sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, giggity. <laughs> We're all gonna giggity die. Yeah, it means every time he has a fucking voice line, it has a giggity somewhere in it. Giggity! I'm making the worst fucking character for our show. Uh, and that's, uh, it's all the characters that really matter, it seems, so, uh... Oh, yeah, totally. Yep. Mm-hmm, yeah. That's it? Mm-hmm. That's, all we, that's all we got. Yeah. Couldn't possibly be a, another character a very underrated series that we didn't think would get uh, any spotlight anytime soon. Uh, one of the Cup? best, one of the best characters from that show, that you know is not a, 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 what's being discussed. You know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Quit fucking mumbling. 
Perfect. <clears throat> hey, you say something? No. So, are we done with the show today? Or? I think so. I think we're not recording anymore. Nope. Okay, cool. Um, you know, I gotta go take a massive shit. I'm, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go take a smoke break. Hold on. All right. I'm gonna mm-hmm. go shit in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna go casually shit in the living room. <laughs> See, once he says that, all I can just imagine is him just walking to the side cat while she's sitting in a chair, kneel beside the chair, and just take a shit. And <laughs> then cat has the spray ball and is no, like, I'm no, I'm in the living room. Cat's in the bedroom. I'm already in the living room. All I would do is literally just stand up and squat. <laughs> she will never know. <laughs> God, I was just hoping she was just in there. You just sit next to your chair like, what are you doing as you take a shit? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. What are you doing, dear? <laughs> Love you. <laughs> don't don't worry about it. it's just the Hershey squirts. <laughs> to which I have to let you know that is a actual homebrewed spell for D and D called Hershey squirts. <laughs> oh, I know it's a thing, and I am very tempted to give it to one of you. Oh, well, I thought you were going to say I'm very tempted to have you name yourselves that. <laughs> what? <laughs> I name My myself name is Hershey Squirts. I'm the best wizard in all the land. Ooh. I am Shit Spewer. <laughs> what was your prefix? Oh, that's your name now. Wait, no, is that, that your D and D name? Shit Spewer. Yeah. <laughs> no, I, I was working on this earlier. I already, I've already, I was like looking at all the stuff I needed to do, and I they gave me the name suggestions. I looked at it and said, fuck it, I got a better name, and I won't reveal it until we do it. So you have a class and race picked out? Yep. Can I at least know those? Uh, you sure? Uh, a dwarven fighter. Ooh, that's not bad. Yeah. Wait, did you, like, go to, like, a a generator for that type of thing or what did you do no i, I just genuinely read i uh, genuinely looked I around and i was like okay put in one of the uh whatever fucking chats in the basic rules listing mm. so there's an actual pdf you can read that's the basic rules okay. for D&D. all right though i'll give that a read pick something wizard a fighter Brian, tried, did you ever pick a race i tried D, so maybe i'll try that again wait what I, I said I tried being a barbarian the first time I tried D&D. Maybe I'll try that again. Oh, yeah. They are the most basic, easy-to-use ones. <laughs> As you know. That's what my character currently is. Oh, well, then never mind. I don't want to take your thing away from you. In the campaign with us. Not in this, since I'm running this. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm the one oh, who... You're I'm the, the DM, narrator. <laughs> you're the oh, DM, hey. so you're just... <laughs> hey, I hey, mean... by the way. Hey, by the way, uh, I think one of those red figures is Prime, right? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it says Transformers yeah. Prime. <laughs> yeah. We, we stalled so much, I was just like, what actually was that figure? Hold on. Uh, it was Hot Mommy RC. Prime RC, yes! I, I, if, if it's a thing, I can't wait to put my head between her thighs so she can crush me. Okay, yeah, enough horniness. I am uh, so I'm excited for this because RC is one of my favorite characters, but I can't talk about it because I have to leave for a second. You guys talk about it. You left? Yeah, you left, I guess. But I wanted to know what race this character was going to be. <laughs> so, uh. I don't know really anything about it. Is there a picture? No. Then they don't care. <laughs> All right, so we got three things to talk about. Of the th- three options to things to talk about. One, RC. Two, D&D. Three, Coats. <laughs> Why don't we talk about Transformers in D&D while wearing coats? I'm already wearing one, so okay. You're wearing a coat? Well, not really a coat. But it's like a throw. I'm really in just my underwear right now and also the throw, so... By the way, hello, audience. That's your visual for today. 
me yeah, sitting in. At least he's wearing clothes. <laughs> it, sitting on the couch in my underwear and a throw on jacket, pl- eating Lay's potato chips while we're doing this, while I'm also playing a NASCAR game. I'm going to, I'm going to put that Im- image in your head right now. You can hear the chips in your mind. Um, but yeah. RC, I don't know what RC looks like. A lady! What? I know. I... I might regret this, but I'm looking at stuff now on something sort of similar. I'm afraid. Wait, that's not it. Dakota? Dakota. <laughs> Dakota. Dakota. Did he actually go take a shit on his floor? <laughs> no, I want to take a shit. What do you want? <laughs> I want. I want. <laughs> I want two number nines, a number nine large, two number sevens. One with cheese, two number 45s with God, extra dip, and a large soda. All right, hold on, let me do my response. Sorry, was there a rumble? I, I, what you <laughs> I get it. Hold on. Am I allowed to play this? <laughs> Who are you am, I to, am I allowed to play this on the show, Dakota? Yes. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Did you put your microphone close to the bowl? What? Did that you put your microphone duck. to the bowl? Alright, that explains a lot. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your service. Uh, yeah. mm-hmm. Are we happy for that? RC, yeah, I'm pretty happy. That means other prime figures like Bulkhead and Starscream. Yeah, I'm down with that. Yeah. Oh, sweet Jesus. What are you guys doing? Everything uh, wrong. taking a shit right now, and we're actually discussing. <laughs> we started discussing RC. I got wanted to go look for something while we were discussing, and then Dakota took a shit, <laughs> and then everything kind of derailed from there. <laughs> yeah. Hey Dakota, did Cat tell you what I messaged her? Cat said he messaged her, but I haven't heard what she said yet. Oh, okay. I mean, she didn't scream, so she couldn't be that bad. I genuinely love that Dakota's just carrying this on. Yeah. <laughs> I wrote to Kat, Dakota's making a duty in the middle of the living room. She wrote, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. Whatever you say. Yeah, I don't know. Nothing new. I just love that when she knows you well enough to never believe anything you say. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I'm excited for RC. Uh, hopefully they do more Transformers Prime characters. I want to see a new Arachnid. That's good. I want to see a uh, Starscream Bulkhead. That's favorite. one that I thought of was Bulkhead. You're stealing. I want to see a decent Grimlock. Well, I'd see a Grim. I'd like a Grimlock, too, yeah. I would love animated toys. Yes! Fucking That's, this please. would be a good way of doing it, yeah. Fucking Megatron and Optimus. Maybe just do an animated Starscream, not even go for G1. What if, what if, now now hold on a second. What if they just made a new animated toy line? I I thought of this, for them to do Generations animated would be kind of hard for them. Because animated is so distant from everything else. Like, you could bring in something Energon related to Generations and it, it would fit in fine. But as soon as you bring in, like, animated Ratchet, that's not gonna fit. Okay, I'm back. Alright, you back from poop? 
Yeah, thanks for writing me out to cat. <laughs> well, don't shit on the floor. But I couldn't help it, man. I just would not stop. Logan, stop shitting on the floor. No, fuck you, Logan. But no, I'm excited for this. Uh, if I could change your colors, it'd be pink. Haha, <laughs> that's a funny joke. Go sit there. <laughs> My favorite scene of her is when she stretches for no reason. It's like Brian. it's season three, and it's like, ah, uh, this is... Stop that. Brian, no. cease the horniness. <laughs> there is a funny story. So I went back to uh, when the creators were announcing the show, and they were showing concept art of all the characters. They were like, oh, okay, here's Bumblebee. He's based on, you know, the, the movie and stuff like that. Here's Optimus Prime. So, very similar to what's going on with the movies, but we wanted to do our own thing, so you'll see some cues and designs. And then when it came to RC, they were like, so this is the one we took the longest with. <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> this makes my pants feel tight, I don't know why. Maybe it's because <laughs> I'm in the washing machine. <laughs> hmm, help. <laughs> If your kid's in the washing machine, leave him alone, because he'll be quiet soon. <laughs> also, don't bones, do that. Disclaimer. Also, but... my, my, my bones have been rattled greatly. Here on TFA, we don't condone Brian. <laughs> yeah, don't listen to Brian's <laughs> ideas. We yeah. just don't condone him. Sorry. Man, if only someone could help me with my horniness for Transformers Prime RC. Oh, hi, Mr. Fred Perry. Anyway. Fuck. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, so, uh... Do more of this. Yeah. So life <laughs> ended. Do a knockout! <laughs> yes, a knockout. Actually, yes. Can just we, can knock me out. Just absorbed... Into the broader Transformers canon. Do an Insecticon so that we can have an actual decent sized Insecticon. Alright, now we're going too far. Babe, what if it's not far enough? Do, um. Uh... Do a barrel roll. <laughs> Introducing from Transformers a barrel roll. Dude, a Star Fox crossover Transformer would be fucking rad. I mean, even then, if you want a barrel roll, just bring in Donkey Kong. He'll transform into a barrel. Oh, by the way, next crossover I want to see is Kit or A Team. I think I was thinking about this today at work. I was like, you know, they done the like the ones I think mostly everybody would want is the Ghostbusters and that. They would more than likely have to do Kit or an A Team van next. I agree. That's. A Ooh, uh, actually, no, never mind. I was gonna say maybe they could do Deuce of Hazard, but... Mm. No! <laughs> I was th about to say that, but then I was like... Do you remember the Jazz vs. Dukes of Hazard car animation? Oh, yeah, I love oh, that. Yeah. What if they it's just so base a toy light on that? <laughs> I would be okay with that. That'd be cool. Well, I would. Here. So, that, that video was so fucking cool. I love it. I completely missed what was happening. <laughs> We're talking about this, the stop this motion movie, with the Dukes yeah. of Hazard car. Uh, that this was like one of the one of the first big stop motion videos ever. Was this guy who made like a Gundam into a Dukes of Hazard transformer versus Jazz? He also did an Optimus Prime versus Bumblebee stop motion. He was really good. He actually did that, official dude. stop motions for Bionicle at some point. I think that he was like doing stuff with hot toys too. He was so fucking good. Patrick Boyden, I think, right? Yep. Yeah. He does a lot for commercials. I don't know. I guess he kind of phased it out. I think he's had a ki I think he had a kid and he kind of stopped. He had a kid, but I think he's still going. Like he doesn't I I don't think he does I could be entirely wrong. I don't think he does so much YouTube videos, but I think he still does commercials. Yeah, I think that Hold on. Hold the phone. Wait a minute. How is that, Winker? Yep, it's Patrick Boyvin, because I looked up the video. I remember his kid was in an animation with, uh, I think it was Combiner Wars Transformers. Oh, he still does make videos. Okay, good. Because this guy is so great. He 
he did that Prime versus Prime video. So yeah, okay, yeah, he's still doing stuff. This was back in the day when uh, the fucking um, escalator, or not escalator, um, uh, OK Go was popular in the first video. Yes, I remember those. Yeah. Anyway, folks, I will believe you for now. But yeah, no. Um, yeah, I, I, they got to do a team kit. Uh, maybe Herbie. I know people said Mystery Machines, uh, but like, I feel like that's a little too old because you've noticed that all these anniversary stuff is like '80s stuff or around that era. Yeah. So I don't know if I think. Maybe, but I don't. I don't know. I don't think they'll do it right away. I think they'll have to do I Kit and Eighteen first before they do uh, Mystery yeah. Machine. I think they'd have to do that before they would even even consider that, because like I think right now, like the idea that even they did the Top Gun thing was so out of left field. I wouldn't be surprised about half anything now anymore with that series. Top Gun feels more like a promotional thing because the movie. It is. It definitely is. But it, because like quite literally, the DeLorean one was so like everyone expected it that the Top Gun one just happened and everyone's like, oh, okay. And like, it's one of those, okay, that's fine by us, but we never, th we never asked for like a plane transformer like that. It doesn't uh, even fit on broadside. It doesn't even. It doesn't even fit on them. Oh my god! What I, if they I do smashed. Commander Plus broadside just to fit on Top Gun? I wouldn't be opposed. Or Tidal Wave. Tidal Wave needs a, a new figure. Tidal Wave definitely needs a fucking Commander. Can you be the Commander class for the next whatever part of the trilogy? I <laughs> want that. Yeah, because when was the last time he had a decent figure? He well, had the fucking broadside repaint, and that was just lazy. I was about to say, like, he's <laughs> that's a decent figure. <laughs> Come on now. I feel like Tidal Wave could be in the next series. I know they want to do 86 stuff, like, because they're uh, leaking into that, but, you know, with Unicron, there was the Unicron trilogy, so I feel like Tidal Wave could also fit in that, so. Tidal Wave, Demolisher, Cyclonus from that could just be renamed Cyclone. Yeah. Dingleberry. Or Cy Cyclonicus. Or Cyclonass. Cyclonus. Ass. <laughs> yeah, yeah, how they put the us at the end of all the Transformers names. Either Cyclonus is going to be Cyclonus or Cyclonusus. Or Cyclonus. Cyclone. <laughs> Cyclonai. <sighs> Cyclone Blast. Yeah. Uh, Hurricane, Hurricanus. Or like uh, Visper, it's going to be Vyclonus. Vyclonus. It is I, Vyclonus. It is I, Vyclonus. Welcome, my friends. Would you like some beans? We don't have it. <laughs> We're going to watch Cutter Stew. <laughs> On <laughs> Disney Plus. <laughs> Let's name a figure to use to, hey, Russian movie time, on a board. Cars 2 is not Russian film, my friend. Actually, that reminds me, I gotta tell you guys something unfortunate that happened. Uh, Larry died. <laughs> oh, wait, what, really? Yeah. What was the cause of his demise? Uh, yeah, what happened? He had an allergic to, uh, reaction to soup. He's only allergic to one thing, and that's Spy Kids 3D on VHS, available now. So, someone, I don't know who, decided to put in his soup, Spy Kids 3D, game over, on VHS, available now. Just a bunch of copies in his soup, and he got dead. Mm, that, that sucks, but... Now, now the Secret Transformers movie will never happen. Well, yeah, it, it will. It got uh, adapted from Paramount, and uh, it's a oh, successful right. franchise. So Mark Wahlberg will be in it. Yeah. Donnie everybody. Wahlberg. Mark Wahlberg will voice Optimus Prime and all the other characters. And he'll just sing The Touch. 
Yeah. That'll be the theme song, yeah. No, that'll be the whole movie. Oh, okay. I, you know what? To be honest, I think that was better than what Larry wanted to do. It made $4 billion. Avengers at Endgame the box Prize. office. Made two billion dollars at the box office. Oh, cool! Fireworks yeah. outside. Yeah, that's what's been going on out here too. Well, we got t Canada Day, so it's closer. Ha ha. Well, okay. Yeah, well, I just had to waste two minutes waiting for you fuckers to stop selling like digitized garbage. Well, well. Digimon, digital monsters. Digimon monsters, Digimon are the champions. That, how's your ice cream? Melted. Ah, Wait. so milk. Oh, yeah, that is melted. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I thought you were about to say, look. oh, wait, that is milk. <laughs> I mean, technically it is. It's always been. Oh, it's just milk. I forgot just that you wanted to tell that story. Yeah. What? You wanted to tell the story of how you got double the uh, ice cream. I was joking, but okay. So yeah, I ordered food. I got one extra. One extra what? Food? Yes. <sighs> food labeled food. My God. Ladies and gentlemen, I we're coming out with a new invention. It's called Food Label Food. It's on Amazon. It's on Amazon. On. Coming next year, drink flavored drink. Jeff Bezos himself puts it in the bag and kisses it before <laughs> sends it out to you. Oprah, Rin o Oprah Winfrey says, eh. That bitch. <laughs> that, all that bitch. <laughs> Looks like you're not getting a new car and you're like, eh, I got I, I got a second ice cream. Who cares? <laughs> like, <laughs> like you're not getting a, a new shit. car. Ha ha, fooled you. I don't have a license. <laughs> And then Oprah's like, same here, dude. Wait. That's that's why she gives away cars, is because she keeps buying them and can't do anything about it. She keeps getting cars from people and he's just she's just like, I don't know what the fuck to do with these, and then she just gives them out on her show. She wants to be Jay Leno, but she doesn't know what to do with them. I, I can't drive them into a museum. I just can't. I physically can't. They're all Hot Wheels. Oh my <laughs> god, what if she was just giving away Hot Wheels cars? This whole fucking time she was giving out Hot Wheels. You get a car, you get a car, and then people pull out. Oh, it's a Hot Wheels. Okay, cool. What if I don't want a car, and not you? <laughs> you, get a, you, get a, you get a car. You get a train. What the fuck? I wish Oprah gave me a train. That'd be cool. She just turns to one random person. Like, and you get a plane. That's a real fucking plane. I'm like, what? I can't fly this. I'm taking take it back, bitch. She flies it into the building and it's like, get in! <laughs> get in! Where, Where am I? Going shopping. We're going shopping. We're going shopping. I don't know if you're shopping for renter's insurance. I also like the fact that Oprah is a pilot and she rolls down the window and says, Get in! We're going shopping. Everyone else is screaming. <laughs> screaming, they're on fire. The person under the plane just goes, Okay! And then Oprah's got like a dead stare. I love how you're talking. She has a dead stare. She just stare. <laughs> Not okay, get in. It's just like... <laughs> she suddenly becomes brain dead after it. <laughs> We're going shopping. Uh... <laughs> Oprah, have me on. Wait, your show's not okay. Bye. <laughs> she doesn't have a show anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> never like mind. Move like, along. Hey, Oprah, let me wait. You're gonna sue me. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. We like to joke around and not get sued. 
<laughs> that's, says you. That's, that's my favorite always, hobby. That's, yeah, it's my favorite hobby, getting fucking thrown in jail for no reason. Well, I'm going to jail today because you made a joke about Oprah. <laughs> like, every day, you're going to death. Oh, fuck. Oh, not again. <laughs> oh, not, not <laughs> We did this yesterday. Oh, God, the, or not, not this the, again. Just give me the tangy drugs this time. Got her. Hold me closer, tiny drugs. <laughs> that tiny... That, what? Yeah. <laughs> that tiny, tiny. Hold me closer. So, uh, what else should we discuss? Discuss. Uh, how <laughs> about exhaust? Yes. As yes. so long as we're not being sued by Oprah, sure. Hell yes, exhaust. He this is what awesome. we get sued by Oprah talking about exhaust. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to buy this. Hi, this is awesome. It, it's got the Maroticons logo on it. Oh, that's what that was. Sorry, is that what? You need the link? The link's there. No, I'm like, I have to go find the link and click on it. <laughs> it's the one with the red and white guy. <laughs> Wait for it to open. Well, we're waiting. Well, so am I. We can't talk about it until Zad opens the link and figures out how to work his computer. It's on fire. What is he? What is he? Oh, man, this technology. We have technology. Go, 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 go. I love the one who hates being sidetracked is not being sidetracking. Oh yeah, exhaust. Yeah. I'm exhaust. walking away now. I love him. Hey, look, pictures are turning away. I'm gonna kiss him greatly on the lips. We've been waiting for you. To open up the picture so that we could go on topic, and then you just close out of it. <laughs> Aren't I a little tease? It's so pretty, click. I like it. I like the white and red. I like how the arms just look like wheel jacks. What? I wonder why. I mean, that they don't change the paint, you idiot. I wonder why. I thought it was really this whole time. So exhaust is inspired by a diclone reuse of the mold. I love the head. I love the new head, but I wish it came with a secondary weapon. I wish. I'm yeah, glad. I wish it had another like weapon or something. You wow. wish, you wish, but all you get is the fish. At least it's painted in two different colors. No, it didn't. Yeah. That's fair. Why does it have a different logo, but it's called Decepticon Exhaust? I don't get that! Like, I, why is it called that if it's got a Maroticon symbol on it? That's what confused no me. Because he's no being a GT. And also, no, apparently, no. there's like a third faction, a faction of Marauders or something like that. And every other Marauder or what's considered that I, I've seen, which I think was Snapdragon and, and uh, Double Dealer, has had either Autobot or Decepticon logos. I, I wonder if it's because, like, it's been a while since we've had one of these figures with, like, something like this that they've, like, randomly put it on him. But it makes no sense. It's I, the weebs. I mean, I get why they have Decepticon logos, you know, Snapdragon and, and, and Double Dealer, but I, I'm also like, if they wanted to do that faction, maybe they should have just changed it up. But I, I mean, I get it, because it's originally the word Decepticons. I think they are still, I don't know, it's fucking confusing. Yeah. Welcome to the fandom. War for Cybertron, which one? All of them. I wonder if this one promotes cigarettes. What? I, I I immediately, Joe and me were talking about this story the other day, and I immediately was like, whenever Exhaust gets an ascension, he better fucking have a smoker's voice, or else I will quit the whole show. Do you guys not remember that Exhaust is a girl? Oh, yeah. No. He's a dude. So, not, so that just gives any excuse for Exhaust to sound like the mother from Spongebob. No, like Movie RC in uh, Larry's show. The mother from fuck Carl's mo mother, yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, okay, yeah, it was a girl, so yeah. 
that makes it even better. I no, like it's not a girl, because one of the key features of a boy is really long arms. And smoke cigarettes. Yeah, I know, but that's beside yeah, the only point. Boys smoke cigarettes. Unless, yeah. you're the, unless you're the secretary person, or sec whatever person secretary. that worked in uh, Beetlejuice. I remember when they first invented cigarettes. Sweet, sweet cigarettes. I love them! Oh! Smoke a million bags a day. I'm oh, fucking I'm happy. Oh, shut the fuck I'm up or I will fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you ever do that again. Oh, Last I? thing we need is a fucking death dealer going ooh woo. Rock. Please give me huggy wuggies. Oh, 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 you're so warm. <laughs> no, this is your box. <laughs> I wish uh, I could I, say I yeah. was disappointed, but that's that's not right. I am a <laughs> wizard now, woo loo loo. <laughs> God, activate the ooh. I'm sorry, but all I can picture now is just a robotic Grim Reaper doing this to every fucking robot that's going to die. <laughs> I've come for you, Prime. <laughs> I, I figured this was a girl, but I confused it with the, the one with the the, uh, the tracks repaint, because I know that one was also a... <laughs> In the same uh, thing was the one with the penis? Uh, Road Rage, yes. That reminds me, I need to add her to my list. Of what? Of things to get. Of things to fuck. Things to put in the put it First in the it's Prime RC, now it's Road Rage. Put, put them in the jar list. <laughs> put them in the jar. Real nice and pick which one you're gonna pick. What the fuck was that? <laughs> uh, I choose a Silkatano. Silkatano? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, from that video, that TikTok video. <laughs> yeah, that video. I know you said. Osaka Tano, but my brain first heard you said a soaking piano. <laughs> that's the Google soaking that's the Google uh, autocorrect version. <laughs> I'm soaking my piano. Luke, did I'm I ever tell you about soaking my I'm piano? <laughs> like, I'm at the point with all these jokes. I am standing up now. <laughs> I I'm so pissed, I'm standing. Started pacing at the uwu. I cannot sit down for this injustice. I cannot sit. It is I, Linkara. Linkara, I have no anus. I can't physically sit. Oh, dear God. I want an exhaust a lot bad. Oh, I'll buy her. I'm gonna run away. I'll definitely buy exhaust. I love her. But I really want Grease Pit. Honestly, I'll, I'll, I'll get it. It looks neat. I'll repaint it to be McDonald's. So, the original uh, Grease Pit, um, the, the alt modes, looked very similar to what Ironworks was, except that it was a gas station. And what I noticed is that the hook has been replaced by gas pumps, and then it's also got an extra little red ramp thing that goes onto the shoulder. Which I think might be a sign? I'm not sure. I mean, looking at the instructions, it clearly looks like a sign. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So I think that'll plug on to the side somewhere. I, I think that what it will do is, and I'm just speculating here, uh, they'll attach that to maybe the crane, and it will just be a huge sign that's just sticking out. But I, I could be wrong about that. I love the Ironworks figure. The color scheme of this is like uh, the Airwave figure that we already got, which is also a Decepticon, so it will match up with that pretty well. And it won't uh, be out of place with Ironworks either, because he was gray and uh, yellow and red, so... It already works with the color scheme of all those base transformers. Um, but I'm into it. I want it. Um, again, the base modes look a lot better, or a lot closer to the Ironworks than I thought it was. 
I, I was confused with another uh, set, but uh, yeah, any excuse to have more of those base transformers, uh, I'm up for it. I, uh, I don't know if, if I'll get this immediately, but I do like it. But like, he, just, he does look great. I'll say that. Yeah, it's a thing. It, it just got like these really cool, like just different colors. Like Ironworks was just like dark gray, <laughs> yellow, all that kind of such. But this one's just got blue, yellow, and red. It, it's just a nice like bunch of colors. I actually think I'm gonna pick this up and seeing the new set, the conversion set for Ironworks into a Decepticon, I'll probably pick that up for that as well and then actually get Ironworks. I need to eventually get Ironworks though. He's pretty cool actually. He's pretty, pretty cool. cool. He's pretty cool. This one's a greasy motherfucker, if I do say so myself. A pasty motherfucker? Greasy, because his name is Greasy Pity. I don't get it. Greasy I get it. Like John Travolta. Lot of fun. Tell me more. Tell me more. Did, did you Did she her? suck on my pants? <laughs> Tell me that's not the question that one of those fucking guys asked him. They asked that, though! They genuinely did! <laughs> well, I'm a bad person. <laughs> I heard cat. <laughs> That's why he started laughing. I just said that. Mm -hmm. Put it in a fucking movie. That really, <laughs> they fucking. That's what it is. I know. They allude to it. The, did you put? Did she put up a fight? Whoa! What the fuck, man? I'll be right back. <laughs> I, I need help. I never fucking like that movie because I hate all the characters. And they're all fucking scumbags, and everyone thinks, "Oh, it's beautiful." No, it's not. It's beautiful. In the sense of... Nope. That was my favorite fucking thing. Was like one time somebody's just like, "Well, you didn't grow up in the era," and it's like, "Oh yeah, I'd love to grow up in this fucking era." Yeah, that's what I want. That's totally what I want. Oh yeah, I can't understand this movie because I didn't grow up. During that time. Wow. What movie was it again? Reese? Never seen it. Good. What? Don't. Don't. It's awful. You know there's a sequel to that movie? Yeah. Yeah. I don't and it was fucking live show repertoire. Fucking, uh... Words. Live show play. There you go. Of like that show. They did a Grease and Rocky Horror Picture Show a couple of years ago. They were both god fucking they, awful. Oh yeah, they did. That, that, that. I watched the Rocky Horror Picture Show one. And I was disappointed. It was. Uh, it was fucking horrendous. It could have been worse. Cat. My representation of how it was was, you know, a garbage fire and how those smell. But then it, it add, add that to the size of a planet. It could have been. It could have been a lot better. It could have been done properly. They could have not fucked up every moment they had on screen. It could have been worse. Yeah, and they could have not done it. I'm back. <laughs> That's the best thing I've heard. Yeah, they could have also just not done it. Like they they could have just left it alone and stopped doing the whole thing of, let's make new things of old things. No, just be fucking creative for once and do something original. I want to see a new Transformers series where they just make yeah, original yeah. characters. What, Brian? I want to see a new Transformers series where they just make original characters. 
Cat wants to know if you heard her because she said like Transformers. No, because my cat was screaming uh, outside my door, so it was funny timing. What did she say? Oh, she said a comment about what I replying to my comment of they could have done something original, and she said like Transformers and technically Transformers each interpretation they try to be their own version of unique with it by adding new things that actually most of the time function with the plot. And then there's Jetfire. <laughs> the mo- the movies, but not like Bumblebee. There's no joke there. We don't joke here. We don't joke on this. <laughs> so Joe flopped as hard as Brian's career. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dude, we don't make jokes on the show. But do you think we are funny one No. What do you think we are? Stupid? <laughs> Whoa, cool? did you just call Kat stupid? Ah, uh, that's grounds for divorce. And they're not married yet. I'm just giving them a heads up. <laughs> no, you just went from point A to Z. Dirge! Yay! That's the thing. It's my so- second favorite cone head. So, what's your third? What do you think? Ah. Uh, the other one. Uh, the underrated cone head. They sell, yeah. Yes. Was the nacelle a cone head, or was that something else? No. I think nacelle isn't. No, he just has thrust wings, is what it was. Yeah, so you lied to us. So, yeah. Fuck, fuck Ramjet. I don't care for him. He's cancel no Larry Hankins on Carry, MySpace. Cancel on MySpace.com. I want it because we've been needing the cone heads for a while. Every time I said, so, oh, we, we haven't gotten the cone heads since the original generations. And people are like, oh, Creo, uh, Cyberverse, uh, Masterpiece. <laughs> and it's Creo. like, oh, Creo. And it's like, uh, okay, cool. Uh, any of those generations? Uh, no. And it's not what I'm talking about. I, I just like, I like this defense of like, oh, Creo had them. It's like, oh, what? Oh, yeah, I'm definitely going to put my Creo dirge in my generations collection. Conan, go after uh, Autobot uh, Stinker. And then they're just kicking him. Stinker. They're, they're just you know, kicking him. I- I don't own a Dirge toy at all, so this is interesting. I'd love to have this one. Really? You don't own any? I don't own any. I own Not even thrust. the Revenge of the Fallen? No. I have three Thrust toys. I got a shit ton of Skywarp and Star Screams. Got a few of the Thundercrackers. I have one of the Star Screams that I call a Ramjet. I have, at, like, two Acid Storms, a Slipstream, uh, um, the Nova Storm... I don't have. I do have a sunstorm, but it's the masterpiece. Do you even have a construct bot star screen? I I think I do. I, oh, okay. I, th- I honestly think I do. If it's not, it's the thundercracker one I own. But like, no, I don't own a dirge. Well, you're not That's a real collector then. Right. I don't have any of them. <laughs> I only have two sets of the cone heads: the Revenge of the Fall ones, and the Creo. How much is Revenge of the Fallen Dirge going for? Hold on. Probably a lot. Uh, a lot. Oh. Yeah, I have to find them at aftermarkets. But anyways, uh, Dirge. Um, I'm excited for this. Obviously, we're going to get a ramp- uh, Rampage. Ramjet soon. I wonder if uh, Ramjet is uh, going to be a selects or an exclusive, though. I don't think he so, will, though. But I, I could so- be wrong. I got a theory. So at this point, we have thrust, we have dirge. Do you think we're just gonna have a three pack? I don't know. Do you think that the next Amazon exclusive is gonna be a ramjet pack like the fucking Skywarp thing? Oh god, I hope not. Skywarp. The Skywarp pack. I don't. That's my thing. Is I hope they don't ever do what they did with Skywarp again. Not with Skywarp, just in general, like, that same thing with Skywarp again. Well... that was just awful. Well, we are getting two Amazon packs that are similar to what we already got, but I think that they're not going to do the same thing. 
You know, I think they're gonna learn from that mistake. Hopefully. <laughs> Maybe, e hopefully. Maybe the next packs that we're gonna get from Amazon, because we're gonna get that Cyclonus. Hopefully, we get a couple of the sweeps. Maybe. And, and you know what would be cool? Junkions versus the sweeps. Pretty cool. Be something. I mean, technically, we already have that. Didn't we have the uh, Generations, the original, uh, and, and the RTS Redgar and Scrap Face or whatever it was called with uh, Hot Rod, and then we had two sweeps with Cyclonus? Which, by the way, that's the Cyclonus and two sweep pack with the transparent figures. We still have that on Walmart. Seriously? Yeah. I ain't got shit. Our Walmart suck, though. I suck. I feel like we just got rid of Victorian, though. It has Victorian in stores? No, online. Oh. Well, it's so long I forgot about Victorian, although it's upstairs just with the rest of my combiners. <laughs> I forgot about it. So long since I remembered that bitch. Fucking bitch! Oh, I still want there. to complete my my Ortheo or whatever the fuck it's called. Ortheo. Ortheo. Or yeah, Ortheo. Ortheo. Where art thou, Ortheo? Urethra. Urethra oh. crabs. I'm excited for the screaming dirge because he's screaming. Ah! Also, the wings look kind of like. Generic, so I'm thinking that they're just going to pretty much repaint this into the uh, Ramjet. They're not going to do too much modifications. I wonder if uh, the Null Rays are going to change, because we've seen Thrust, we've seen Dirge, but we've never seen any of the weapons that are included with them. You're right. I, 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 this is why I think, like, straight up, they should just have this as a three-pack. Because it just wouldn't make much sense. Not to? Yeah. Cause like, I don't know. Anyway, uh, <laughs> if we do ever we... get another three pack, I want to see Nacelle, uh, Sunstorm, and some other seeker that they could throw in. Oh god, if they had Nacelle, I'd I'd buy it immediately. And oh they definitely my god. Need to do Sunstorm, yeah. What if they do a G two Thundercracker? Um, you mean Shatterglass Thundercracker, right? Mm. In difference. How dare you? <laughs> I would buy it specifically just to make it, the, yeah, the Shatterglass one. But yeah, I'd totally be down for like. Wait, could you just parts like part swap to make that G two Thundercracker? Holy shit, you might be on something. Hold on a second. I just uh, fucking realized that. What do you need for Thundercracker? Uh, hold on a second. So, looking at him now. I would need, like... You definitely need Acid Storm, I know that. You need Acid Storm's, like, arms. You need Thundercracker or Ion Storm's, like, thighs. But you need, like, a red one. Like, a specifically red figure. Uh, well, there's Red Wing. But that... that's too much. I'm just saying if it's possible. It's probably possible. Hold on, what does Red Wing look like? Again. Red He's Wing red? red? With wings? I'll, I'll smother you. Okay, the, the red parts don't really match for the shoulders, but if you just want to... legs work, work. If you want to make a basic version of this Thundercracker, I think it's possible. You can definitely do it. I think I saw somebody do it. But then again, I also saw somebody make it a custom out of it. So, you know. Oh my god, my phone went to Ecto-1. Uh, the the Ectotron, and I'm just like, ah, can't wait. He's ready for you to be, he's ready to come home to you. God, I fucking can't wait. That alt mode is beautiful. Anyways, yes, I'm excited for Dirge, and I want a Ramjet. Bring it! Bring it on! Bring it on! Yeah, I, I totally want Thrust, I want Dirge, and Fuck, I guess I'll settle with Ramjet. Uh, I want this, I want this, uh, oh, fine. 
that's why I think like on the last episode we did, I, I straight up said I think they're gonna redo they're gonna basically redo what they did with the classic seekers mold with this now. Alright, I clicked on the link. Oh yeah? <laughs> Oh, finally, we can continue. No, there's just nobody asked my opinion. I'm like, eh, fuck it. Oh. What do you I, think? I just assumed you stopped clicking the links. <laughs> How much for the taller than that? Way to assume, Brian. You know what they say about assuming? It's incorrect. <laughs> All around me are familiar faces. Except that one over there. <laughs> I know you from Best Buy. <laughs> Why people talk so nice. That's racist. It is. Anyway. Cancel uh, whatever his channel name is on this account. Cancel Tingleberries. Cancel TikTok. Cancel TikTok on Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, uh, don't. Uh, okay, what is your opinion on Dirge Zat? Thank you. I mean, I don't own any single form of him. And the image has him missing a fucking arm. <laughs> I don't get that. I guess it's just missing true and right formed, and they just didn't... Yeah, it's folded it in, I guess, but, like, couldn't figure it out, buddy. <laughs> Figured out the one arm. Like, he got one, he's like, oh, that's enough. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I love how even then, the fucking character's like, missing slash hiding an arm? Like, they don't fucking know. <laughs> I have to do the opposite to this arm? Oh, I'm already thrown off. Already Maybe tired. that's I, why they're uh, just screaming. Please. When a toy just, ah, my arm. Ooh. It's Uber. I don't know. If it doesn't come with a detachable arm, I'm not buying. It's gonna be. It has the Miss Nesbit uh, play fix feature. <laughs> <laughs> That's why he's screaming. You see the hat? You see the cone? <gasps> oh my god. We need to do Mrs. Nesbitt, but with the fucking cowboy one from Cyberverse. Oh, yeah. I forgot. I forgot that. Oh, yeah. I forgot he existed. I have not seen Cyberverse. It's okay. You don't need to. No, I don't know who the fucking cowboy is. Oh, It's a boy who is a kid. Holy crap, it's a cowboy. What a steel horse, <laughs> Can you promise me one very specific thing? Mm -hmm. Don't ever teach children. Yeah. Let's go to college. Alright, kids, this is how you pick your nose. You accidentally have to use the fire extinguisher. First, you take the Lego and then you stick it on your finger. Then you, then you don't pick your nose, and you and you live with your failures. I do every podcast. You live with your failures. <laughs> Trick question. See, now this means there's gonna be an episode of Misfortune. We all just make Brian and just use Bumblebee teaching people and see how bad it gets. Is that why are you bullying me today? Because I. Can. Oh, okay. And you didn't tell me which the one was the fucking cowboy fucking fucker. It's the one with the cowboy hat. I don't remember. That doesn't help me. I don't have pictures. Hashtag <laughs> sends that pictures. Just any picture of a cowboy you can find. <laughs> <laughs> cowboy in a picture. Yeah, here's one now. How about no? Because I don't trust any of you fuckers with that fucking freedom. <laughs> that hates freedom. Let yeah. that be known. I'm not voting for him. Oh no, I enjoy freedom except for three fucking people. <laughs> Much for the taller and left. And one doesn't count because he's a fucking candidate. 
This is when I am intolerant to fucking TFIA. I'm trying to find the goddamn picture. I just need a name. I can't remember the name. It's like Autobot or Decepticon. I don't... I'm not even sure if he knows. Hold on. <laughs> Like I said, it's like Buckaroo Banzai or some shit. Like, like I've seen the show and I'm like, is wh which one is he? His name is. Hold on, I almost have it. Bumblebee. Rocket Room Thunder Howl, Whirl, Hammer by a Cliff Jumper, fucking Cup, Red Five, whoever the fuck that is. Oh God. His name Wild is Wild Wheel. Wheel. Wild Wheel. Yeah, look up Wild Wheel. Welcome to the podcast episode where Zat finds out who Wild Wheel is. Well, yeah, wouldn't you fucking go on a rant about me? Like, okay, well, now I need to know who the fuck this motherfucker I'm is. I'm trying to look for it, too. Well, you should literally just gave me a fucking name. And I yeah, I'm know. trying to look for a picture of the toy. Look, there it is. Third result. Why is there a picture of him wearing a kilt? Because it's funny. Why is he such a letdown? Because uh, you touch yourself at night. This is beside the point. It's beside the point. Here, I'll send a picture right now. I found... I don't care, I want to feel accomplished. I, you failed! I... I hate you so much. Yeah, you start a call and then you have to somehow inject yourself at the end of the cause when you're just dead and gone. Yeah, you know, that you know photo what? reminds me of uh, the meme that I posted of your photo of Megatron as a cowboy where I wrote, We now have found them gays, I'm going to support their lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't remember this. <laughs> yeah, wait, what? Oh, uh, do I have to find that picture too? Now I'm only gonna have to, because I don't remember this. God, I love how you just give me the fucking worst fucking build a bot figure, and I found literally the fucking work production stills. Come on, where is it? I'm trying to find it. Hold up, Jet. Shut up. Nobody's talking. Okay, well now they are. Well, because I just disowned you. I don't care anymore. I found it. Good for you. Alright, here it is. E oh. <laughs> Good reaction. Let me see this. Is that an actual hat? It's a tiny hat. Is it like an actual tiny hat on his head or is it like Photoshop? <laughs> it's, a, it's an actual tiny hat. That is actually impressive. I wonder if it's Wild Wheels hat. Just kidding. I know it's not. Uh-huh. No one cares. I'm so glad you could clarify. Damn. <laughs> Damn, want some salt on that tone? No, I'm good. Oh. Salt in that coochie? Fuck. <laughs> you are not allowed to speak. <laughs> what? I learned there's a long pause speak? before you said that. Why? I wanted to <laughs> confirm that you could just confirm not speak. <laughs> confirm not speak. <laughs> you cannot speak, and I'm like, nobody was talking. So, anyways, I what? I realized I muted myself on accident. You idiot! <laughs> Way to fucking go! I, I went and took a piss, and I assumed I thought I turned it back on, but no. Oh, hilarious! Oh, so, you, so did you hear what I said about salty coochie? Yeah, I, I was trying to say, "Damn girl, do you shit with that ass?" <laughs> Speaking of shitting with that ass, uh, so there was a bunch of other Transformers reveals for Fan Bullshit Friday. And I say reveals in quotations because some of them weren't really reveals. 
I didn't see the quotations. You'll have to imagine it. Yeah. But I can't. All right. Uh, picture this. You're on a beach, and I'm making quotation marks. Okay. Uh, Why am I on fire? No, that's me on fire. But why are you on, but what about me? What am I supposed just to do? Just let it happen. I don't know. Just let it happen. <laughs> but I was supposed to be on fire. Now you're on fire. Well, no, now you want to be on fire? But then wait. But who's no. drowning? It's the your vacation. You get to jo enjoy this, okay? I'm not enjoying any of it. Well, whose fault is that really? Brian. Dakota's. Yeah, that makes sense. In retrospect, yes. Made me fucking imagine quote. Hey, I did the quotations. <laughs> you did, guys. We did it. We did it. We won. Anyways. <laughs> Figures. Anyways. So some of these aren't technically that revealing, I guess, because. A lot of them we have seen previously. Some of them we've heard rumors about. And then the Red Series is just stuff that we already saw. Even the sound wave was already shown up in a couple of images beforehand. So it's not really new. But um, one of the figures that people are upset about is Blaster. Yeah. Because when we heard about this fan, uh, fan showing thing... We assumed that, okay, we're going to get um, very new figures, but this is just a reissue of something. I believe the guy said that, um, oh, he hadn't gotten a toy since, or a reissued toy since 1980-something or 1990-something. And I'm just like, uh, there was the Perceptor and Blaster pack. Yeah. So, no. But, um... But I guess for a single pack blaster, I guess. Uh, he doesn't come with cassettes, but I'm pretty sure that we'll get cassettes later. It's just disappointing because, yes, it's a reveal for a newly released figure, and it's coming at Walmart, which, by the way, people were complaining that this is going to be a Walmart exclusive. Meanwhile, all the, all the other issues. ones have been Walmart exclusive, so... Yeah, they all have been. Yeah, I don't know why... And this one that. is $30 instead of 50 It is? Exactly. I am looking at it right now on the uh, Walmart page. It says tw uh, 30 bucks pre order available. Well, I might yeah. have to get this one, actually. That's, right. actually a, that's actually a better deal than the Soundwave. Yes. <laughs> yes, it is. Because everybody that... else is like 50 bucks. You know what? I'll buy it. I, I think that's cool. I'll <laughs> buy it. Sold on availability. The Walmart employees tell you the price. I feel undignified. I remember going to the toy fair and I wanted to get a blaster or a sound wave and I never found one. And then walking out of the place, I saw two kids, both with either a blaster and a sound wave in their hand. Where? <laughs> toy it's fair. No, but like, where the fuck did they find them? I don't fucking know because I was looking for one. It's like, oh, there's none here, you little fuckers. I'm about to mug your ass. Mug <laughs> them. <laughs> Listen, kid, you're going to give me the blaster and sound wave. Well, Zach, the, the thing you need to factor in is their parents were there. That is why they invented the sound wave, okay? Yeah, well, I can't invented. figure it out because <laughs> I'm stupid. It is. Okay. Step one, I, I lost track. Step, Step one, free everywhere. Step two, run. Step three, profit. <laughs> this is why I'm not a mad scientist. What's wrong with the world? Everything. It's a society. I'm also not sure if I can keep that part in because I'm not sure if YouTube will have a uh oh with that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot. This is going on YouTube. <laughs> Wait, keep what part? Oh my god, Zed, you said, wow, that I can't believe you just said that. Wow. <laughs> and with a cat? <laughs> now, Dakota, we're not talking about that cat. With the movie Cats? Oh god. We're never talking about that. Zach just went on a whole rant about Artemis Fowl, and I had to delete it because I already did that, and that's the yielding. 
I actually researched into what the fuck that movie's even about, and I was more confused. Good. <laughs> Watch the movie, you'll get even more confused. And then I realized there's a book, and then it's just, well, people don't read anymore. How is this a thing? How did they make a script out of something nobody actually reads anymore? He's considered a criminal mastermind, and he's perfect at stealing shit, but, like, he doesn't steal jack shit in the movie. <laughs> I don't, I don't get it. So what you're telling me is Artemis Fowl is uh, Mary Sue? Yes. It's Mary Poppins Boo. I'm not saying no. <laughs> oh, what? sorry, Gary Stu. Yeah. Oh my god, that is, yes. People made that up, and I was just sat there and was like, okay. So, but yeah. no one wants to talk about Gary Stu's. Hmm? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Anyways, Transformers. Yes. I want to get the blaster. And now that we know it's cheaper, possibly. Mm-hmm. I'll leave it alone. Oh. Yeah. Sucks the, the cassettes are going to be expensive, though. I, I think yeah. they're usually 12 bucks out here, because Soundwave was 70 And then it never went on clearance. Let me actually... Yeah, well, how much were the fucking cassettes? Let me look that up. They were twelve ninety nine out here. Oh, they were like twelve bucks, twenty bucks here. I oh no, they yeah, were... they were cheap. They were stupid price. I I thought they like, were going to be twelve ninety nine, but then they were like twenty or thirty. Yeah, I remember sitting there and I was just like, well, if I don't get the sound wave immediately, I'll buy the cassettes. And because for a while I was on the assumption that they were going to be the price of like mini bots. No. Oh, wait, what the fuck? Oh, no. Okay. I thought I, <laughs> I, I, I was hoping I saw the word. I thought I saw, like, oh, yeah, it's a two-pack cassette for $155. Like, what? Like, no, that's including the fucking sound wave. Oh, okay. I'm say, like, what the fuck are you smoking, assholes? There's an Amazon pack with uh, Frenzy and then two cassettes that combine. And... They're $45, still $45 on Amazon. They've been up for about a year. Prices hasn't, hasn't changed. The only uh, G1-style cassettes I have is from the Gold Bumblebee pack. Oh, and Buzzsaw. Okay. Mm. I figured out why it's $155 for all three of them, because they are all each $50 fucking dollars. Hmm. Two cassettes, one package. Fifty fucking bucks. Nice. You know, Hasbro. I understand that some people pay scalper prices and all this, but uh, you're the people who officially sell these, and they're not the original toys. Calm I, the fuck down. I'm gonna actually double check on my actual fucking Walmart app how much they cost in my fucking store, and it better not be that. Do we move on while he's doing that? Sure. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, while that's happening, there's also the alternate universe Optimus Prime, which is the dead Optimus Prime. And man, okay. Okay. We uh, we talked about it. Yeah. There. I was just thinking they're a little late to the party on that. It's pretty much it's, a gray optimist. What do you mean? Haven't you always wanted a dead optimist prime? What I, mean, I find interesting, though, is... Go on. I, I'm just saying, I mean, we've already ranted about this. Yeah. But here's something interesting that they mentioned, that this is supposedly a part of the the trilogy. That's why like, there's so that, optimist coming to die. Yeah, I That's guess why so. I speculate that Unicron might be from that alternate universe. Mm-hmm. Maybe this will be a good uh, way to introduce the Armada Optimus Prime. Maybe it's a vision of the future that they have to change. Crabs! Crabs! Yeah, so it was just weird that we are like, this. don't worry, there's an explanation for this. And it's just like, okay... Couldn't explain it. Couldn't have just said that, oh, it's just a toy for collectors. Yeah. 
we would have been fine with that, but then it's like, no, it's part of the show, and we're like, oh, okay. Well, now that we figured that out. Oh, I hate it. I don't know. Still looks cool. I, I won't. I, I'm not gonna backtrack on that. Uh, we've already discussed it enough. I, I think I, that I, I will say this. It, if, if this is the case, it's probably still leading to that uh, Rodimus in 1986 stuff. Probably. Because I mean, we talked about how I think that that figure is coming. Yeah. <clears throat> That's just what you think. What do you, the audience, think? Comment below so we can ignore it when you write it ten times. Yeah, exactly. Do you I have mean, any? Do you have any reports to say to that? Well, I mean, for starters, uh, I do want an actual Dead Prime, but uh, on the app, they because that's are thirty five dollars. Fuck off! All right. Still fucking expensive for two tiny little things. Fuck off, Sam. Yep. I will possibly, maybe one day. Not now, but later. Fuck off, Zat. It's all your fault. <laughs> Speaking of being Zat's fault, there's also the Centurion droid, which is going to be a repaint of the uh, the Brunt, which uh, the Brunt was inspired by the Centurion droid from the IDW comics. And we talked, or we didn't talk about this, but this was kind of revealed previously. A lot of people thought it was a custom, but no, it's an actual toy. I'm super excited for it because it's going to transform into a bunch of weapons, and then you also get a weapons pack with it. So it's just a pack of weapons. Yeah. So whenever this thing was, like, it was a live stream, all this was going on, and, like, I watched it and looked over and saw Centurion, and I was like, fucking, I could care less. It, I, I do like the brunt mold and all that, but I could care less. And then they're like, but it comes with a weapons pack. I was like, Ugh. yeah. But, seeing that roller and the axe and the maze, it's like, fuck yeah. It, it's almost worth it just for that. I love the fact that it comes with the jet pack too, so you can plug that on sideswipe and have Optimus Prime steal it. Yeah, they said it was like for anybody. But the one thing I don't get is the ion blaster. And I don't get it either. But I do know that, like, looking at that thing, that thing looks awesome. It looks like it's the Bumblebee because, movie Optimus Prime's gun, but reused uh, in... The, the reason it's like that is because uh, the G1 blaster was, like, originally a freaking, uh, like, really super skinny at the barrel, like how it shows. No. So probably, it's just, just another G1 reference. I'll just probably give it to another Prime on my shelf, I mean. The the cool thing about this is you could give either Blaster to Roller. You can. You can and, do exactly that. And the fact that they give you a little Megatron. Okay, before we dive you... too deep into this, let's let's just go into the Centurion droid. No, okay. Save the best for last. If I can have two. Uh, I love Tankor. Tankor. That's essentially what he looks like. Exactly. All right. Cyclopean Tankor. All right, he's silver. Okay, let's talk about the weapons. <laughs> <laughs> he's dull gray and bye. <laughs> but he has the clams. He's dull gray. Like, I, now you go. <laughs> that's what my favorite thing about it is, is they have those promotional pictures in the video, but none of them focus on them. They all just focus on the weapons and what the box with him in it looks like. Okay, I'll say, it. I'll say this about the Centurion droid. The good thing about it is it's gray, so it just works with everyone. It, it's definitely... It works like as a builder, as a troop builder. You can buy a cup If it wasn't super expensive, you could buy this and just troop build, and I love that. It's true. And I, it's handsome. I definitely want to get it, because the fucking weaponizers are cool as it is, so fuck yeah. I'm surprised they didn't ever make this into the Spike or Daniel armor. Huh. Why would you want that? Or Rom well, the Space Knight? Or, yeah. Oh, damn, that's pulling out a fucking series. <laughs> Someone speculated that it was Rom because I think the head was turned around or something. The, the yeah, face was different. Well, because Rom the Space Knight has the same fucking visor face. Hmm. 
So, quick rundown mm -hmm. of all the accessories. You get Ravage's cage, you get Megatron as a gun with a 5 mm right port, which is awesome. You get a silencer. You get a couple of spare guns. One is similar to what Bumblebee had, so maybe that's you're kind of teasing to that. Uh, someone said that one of the guns is Shockwave, and... Oh, wait, the yeah, top yeah. one is. Oh, yeah, okay, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. Which one? Uh, the one at the top, next to the box. It's, it's oh, just okay. unpainted. Yeah. Uh, the reflector camera, which looks a lot better than the one that came with Scrapnel, because that thing was shit. You get a tiny yeah. Optimus Prime that apparently goes with Unicron. You get the drill... Yeah gun thing that I'm sure is a reference to something, but I can't remember what. It's for Ironhide. Ironhide. Oh, yes. Ironhide. Okay. I, I, I tried to figure that out. You get a little satellite dish thing that you can attach to whoever the fuck. I'm sure it's a reference to Pro something. Cutter. What? Pro cutter. I, I looked on Hasbro Pulse and it's got what each item is for. Oh, well, fucking yeah. you. Love you too. <laughs> Uh, you also get you also get Soundwave as a cassette player as a tiny thing. I, I wonder what that's a reference. I fucking to. love that. I wonder if that's um that teases that the Soundwave from uh, Earthrise is going to be also able to transform into that. And I also want to mention that uh, the blaster might tease an upcoming blaster figure. I'd be okay with that. I okay. wasn't that in the fan vote thing though. Like, wasn't there a poll for Blaster? I don't think it was for that. Yeah, I think it was just for a reissue, that's about it. Yeah, no, it, it was for the reissue. So technically, this isn't even a reveal. We knew we were getting Blaster. Yeah. So you dipped us, Hasbro. Um, but not only that, uh, you know, you look at Astro Train. We had a, a reissue of that, and then Blaster came out. Or and then uh, Astro Train came out and Siege. I was about to say what? <laughs> and then Astro Train came out and Siege, so maybe they're going to do the same with Blaster. Maybe. With a Blaster. Yeah. But anyways, uh, Aaron John Cubes, Megatron's Mace, which is awesome. Optimus's Prime, uh, Optimus Prime's Axe. Uh, his Cannon, which looks a lot better. Roller, and then the Jetpack. All in the white box. All of it, and it's so, it's so cool. It's only I think ten bucks more than the the normal deluxe price. So you get all this for like ten bucks. And the funny thing is, people have asked for deluxe class or MicroMaster packaged weapons that are just weapons for your other figures. I'm definitely going to use years. a couple. Yeah, and I'm definitely going to use a couple of these guns if I get it for Sunstreaker and um, and Wheeljack. I might just give the drill weapon to Wheeljack. What? Wheeljack. He needs more gun. Well, give him every gun in your bin. I'll just give him all my mech tech weapons. I'll give him Megatron's base. <laughs> that, uh... I don't know about that. <laughs> He's got long arms, so he can extend it. Go, go, Gadget, extend arms. Uh, Wheel Jack, you are not Inspector Gadget. I'm doing it anyway. Go, go, shut the fuck up and let me do my thing. You know... Go, go, Gadget, shut your ass up. Scrapper has a 5mm post thing on his back. I want to put the camera in that. I don't know. I'm just looking at all the things I would have and immediately fucking lose. Like, you know, the Optimus. Megatron gun, a fucking the cassette, the camera, the mini prime, uh, everything in that box. You know, I thought that the tiny wheelie was as small as it's going to get, but then that Optimus. There's a tiny wheelie? Yeah, in the Shockwave pack. In the in the movie I Shockwave, never saw that. <laughs> it's got a tiny wheelie and brains that you can't even see in the package because it's hidden behind the artwork of Shockwave because they blow it up in the stock image, so you can easily miss it. It's Zad. Do you have any of the Titan Master figures, the Head Master guys? Nope. Damn, they're half the size of those. 
The only thing I have is the fucking Power of the Primes the little freaking mini cons. The smallest things I have. Oh, you mean Wait. the the Prime Masters? Yeah, the Power of the Primes line. Yeah. So those those are Titan Masters, basically. Yeah, the mm. the little core guy. It's half the size of those. If you fold them up, it, it, minus the port, it's about that size. I don't want it. I'd lose it in a second. You're getting it anyway. What? How? What you You're going to get it and get? lose it and like it. What you get, you get a dead dewey in your wreath. What? But why? It's I funny. don't make the rules, man. It just happens. But why? Why not? Why not? Why not take a crazy chance? Because it's you. <laughs> Is Dakota still here? Dakota muted himself. It's all of you. Dakota. Dakota. We can't do this. Dakota. Dakota. Fucking voice on whatever the fuck we're doing. I don't remember. I killed him. Oh, okay, good. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. So we got better Dakota. We now know the final rule of there can only be one last until marriage. Guys, since Dakota left and Kat replaced him, we've got like 30,000 more subscribers. No, there's a lady. What a thought. <laughs> yeah, uh, Centurion. I'm Damn it. Really considering the, I'm really considering the pack because of the weapons. It would be cool to have the figure, but Silver Brunt is basically what it is. I mean, I'm just going to keep adding all that combiner shit, those fucking drones I have. Well, it, technically, it would be a really useful auto trooper. Well, technically, Brunt, Brunt is just Silver or Purple Centurion droid. I don't know. I'm just impressed at Cat's impersonation of Dakota. Yeah. <laughs> I kill. Yeah, no, I, genuinely, it's really good, Cat. But could you stop? It's like super annoying. How my ears. You're not going to get a thousand followers that way. Followers, not subscribers. Oh, man. Yeah, I'll never. You're trying to start a cult here, buddy. I mean, I don't know. But what's cool is if you got the, the Ultra Magnus pack, you get two Energon cubes that aren't in Play Doh. <laughs> That's a fair representation, yep. I'm not yeah. gonna argue that one. I, I looked at it and I was like, those are way bigger than the ones they gave like in that in that pack and I just thought it was funny and I was just about to be like, Man, I can't wait for the play doh on this one. I think that I think one of them can open up so you can put stuff in it. I, yeah, it I looks looked like you can. I looked over at the Play-Doh that I got from the Ultra Magnus like four weeks ago, I think, at this point. <laughs> you still have. Yeah. It surprisingly has lasted this long. I mean, it's not a Brock? Well. I have I Transformers Play-Doh from the kit, and I left that in the container. I opened it up recently, and it's all white. It was blue. Well, was it fuzzy? Yes. I think one time that happened to me. I had, like, fucking Play-Doh, and I opened it up, and it was fuzzy, and I was like, what the fuck is this about? I thought you were just going to stop it. I, I had Play-Doh, and it was like, cool story. <laughs> I had Play-Doh once. I do. <laughs> it's me. I, I had Play-Doh. I had Play-Doh crabs. <laughs> I <laughs> So, looking at actually the century and transforming into whatever the fuck that is, you can actually see his eye visor just now as a circle in the front of the vehicle. Oh, I know. I yep. love it. <laughs> it's amazing. God, it reminds me of fucking Battlestar Galactica. I want to get this and I want to put Zetar's drone or a drill in it. I just want it and I'm going to throw it out the window. Okay, cool. I want it and that's all that matters. And you don't oh, have to. Oh, I want it, and you don't have to. Why does everything look like Vegas? 
Why does everything look like Vegas? Uh, next up, I want to talk about, if that's okay. We want... We watched Hercules the other day, okay. and literally, as soon as we went to that one scene <laughs> in Greece, I screamed, Why does it look like Vegas? And <laughs> can I just say something? And I watched Hercules recently. <laughs> <laughs> like, damn it, it wasn't even I Vegas. guess not. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, I think you got now I give you permission to say something on your Okay, thank you, host. Uh, next up is... <laughs> Next up is Tiger Track, which came out of left field, because there was no rumors about it, as far as I know. They were just like, a figure that hasn't been out on the market, and I was like, what the fuck are you talking about, man? And then just Tiger Track showed up. I thought it was going to be Exhaust or Grease Pit. Exactly. I thought it was going to be one of those, but no. Because we recently had the pre-order for the... I wonder when they do the Back to the Future car, they're also going to announce the Grease Pit and stuff. Because the listing for uh, the e eBay thing, uh, when people bought it, it showed that it was shipping out July 3rd. They're revealing the Back to the Future car on July 3rd. Huh. Interesting. Not I mean, did they say that they were doing another, like, reveal, like what they did today, next week? I'm not week? sure. All I heard was that they're doing Back to the Future. I imagine there might be more than that, though. Okay. But anyways, Tiger it's... Track is a yellow sideswipe with no bow marks. I wish it had actual tiger stripes, but whatever. Maybe they'll do a Cheetor repaint. That's probably what it's going to end up being. See, Larry, they're taking it the Charlie Sheen route. He has tiger blood in him. Oh. oh, oh. It all makes sense now. It all makes sense. But I like the colors, and it does make me curious if we're going to get a spin out from the Sunstreaker, which is basically a red version of him. I'd be 100% down for that. It has partial attention for me. I like the color. I like the yellow. I like the sideswipe mold, anyways. I want to get the Netflix one just to say I've got all of them, and now I need to get this. Yeah. I need to I, probably buy more figures at some point. Yes. But Tiger Tracks, yeah, I wish it had that, but uh, I was talking with some people about this. I think Reaper labels could fix that easily. I could see. Yeah. One thing I really like is the fact that it comes with both guns, so you're not missing anything. Pew, pew. Because with the repaints, you would either get the shoulder cannon or the handheld gun. And now he has both. Yeah, I, I, I thought it was weird. All right, I'm back. It just had, we're talking about Tiger Track. Did you notice that he came with both Red Alert and Sideswipe's gun? Yep. Well, that's just epic. Anyway, that's an epic right. gamer move. He's got red knees. <laughs> Thank you for pointing out the red knees. <laughs> You're <laughs> welcome. Uh, he's mm, yellow. Mm, this is weird. Oh, there you go. Oh yeah, tastes Wait, like mustard. Television. We're on television right now. I don't want to be on TV. What if you buy Can the we... Tiger Track online and you get it and you're excited and you open I hope, the box? I and... hope Seth MacFarlane's voicing me right now. <laughs> what, what if you What if you buy it and you open the box and you get excited, you get to be a giddy little boy, and then you open the box and it's just a track from the Tiger imprinted. And it's just a copy of Tiger King. <laughs> 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 You know this was on DVD. It's one lock of hair from the Tiger King. Huh? And I don't know if say you owe them five thousand dollars. They'll never be able to financially recover from this. Never. He said the line. Thank you're welcome. Mm. So much for the tolerant left. <laughs> oh my god, another funny. <laughs> oh my god, how did he do it? 
Whatever we do is there is another. Whoa. That's a hoy. That's a hoy. Oh, you said the thing. I am now dead. How does he do it? It'll be whatever you want it to be, baby. Oh, okay. well, I remember well, Simba just... inhaling oxygen. <laughs> You're overdoing it, Hankins. Yeah, I was trying to bring back my old catchphrase, and I'm apparently the problem. Yep. Yeah. Hey, you, you need you, to bring back one of the one of your other catchphrases, like what Brian said. I'll be the child toucher. <laughs> you know what, Larry? The best play you could do is just bring back Larry. Okay. Hey, Larry. Yeah? Come over here. Okay. <laughs> hey, it's the American reviewer. Oh, uh, hold on. Let me go get him. Hey, what's going on? Okay, it's me. Hey, no, it's, still, it's, you've been gone for a long time. Yeah, that's, that's true. Believe. That is very true. It's been a while since I've been on a video. This is a terrible impersonation. You are bordering from American reviewer to Trump. <laughs> I don't know what you're what are you what are you talking about. Or Trump. That's not Trump. I'm not Trump. You're I, Trump. I. Larry, what's Trump? Larry, what's Trump? Larry, what's Trump? I I, I like that being like a school ground insult. No, I'm not Trump. You're Trump. You know what? I've, I've had it up here. I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> and nothing of value was lost. That's all I'm left. <laughs> nothing of value was lost. Who the fuck was that guy? Uh, I think it's a home invader. Yeah. <laughs> the American <laughs> reviewer is just a home invader. <laughs> oh, you know how frequent those are happening these days. He's a jewel thief. He's the jewel thief. He's the Jew thief. No, okay. <laughs> well, okay. <laughs> well, protect your Max. I expected Max. that from somebody else I knew, but okay. <laughs> you know, I expected that from somebody else in the show. All right. Yeah, you know, Nicholas. <laughs> he doesn't even exist. <laughs> He hasn't been on this show for like what two, three years? <laughs> That's episode. Oh, okay, now we're good. <laughs> now we have permission. Now we have permission. That and, and Siri picked up on it, <laughs> but I think I exited out of it right away. Speaking of Siri, uh, Rotor Storm, yes, please. This is cool. I like the colors. I kind of wish it had a different head, but I'm kind of here for it. I, I, I think you yeah, had a different it, head. it definitely needs a new head, but like it, this is pretty damn cool nonetheless. I like how the chest is meant to be painted up like the cockpit, because originally the cockpit formed the chest. So I don't necessarily mind that. Um, but yeah, I'm just glad that we're getting a Rotor Storm. Isn't he a G2 character? He yeah, is. That, they said exactly that's what they were the saying. Words. Yeah, yeah. He said, he's like, that's why they're crazy colors. It's Do like, more of this. Yeah, I they love think they're saying yes. Yeah. Hey, Hasbro, Generation Selects Thunderclash, please. Please, I'd be down for that. Give oh, everybody the trippy colors. God, I'll take the fucking blue Grimlock done properly. I was about to say G2 Bruticus, but that already happened. Was there yeah, a blue Grimlock? Most the... There was a blue Grimlock, yeah. God damn it. But not in Generations. No, not in Generations, yeah. Well, now I gotta see if my comment of a good one is not a lie. Because if that figure's actually good, I'm buying it. I don't think there's even a Masterpiece version of that Grimlock. There isn't. They really didn't do a whole lot with that Grimlock. They really don't, and it's sometimes like, they either have no Grimlocks, Bad Grimlocks, the occasional decent one, and then they somehow forget. They were going to do uh, the G2 Grimlock, and uh, there was an episode of Cyberverse where they go to alternate universes, and one of them was going to have a blue Grimlock. They, did they see Secret Transformer show when they did that? Yes. Uh, okay. They were like, <laughs> we steal. So they were going to, but they didn't. Is that what you're saying? Basically, is what he's saying. Oh, fuck. I like his blue one piece that goes right to the crotch area. 
I like the uh, different colors in the uh, the cockpit and the, uh, the 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 pink and the silver. I like That's... even like the mustardy colored guns. I like that. Like so, Rotostorm has a cockpit for a chest in like G two. I love it that they recreated that with what like Spinister already had. Larry, I just said that. Yeah, cock. You didn't say it exactly like I did, so. Mm. It's it's the pronunciation that the the, the the fuck off. Speak American, please. <laughs> Roadstorm, more like, it, what the fuck you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, now I understand your language. Quintesson, more like Quint. Fuck you. <laughs> um, more like Squint. Uh, squint, squint, Fuck you. <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> I like the. Why am I? Why am I giggling like Jay Leno? Well, I got you. We're gonna have a great show today. Uh, hey Brady, what suit do you want to be married in? <laughs> Leave me alone. Arthur Lewinsky. <laughs> hey, Iron Man too. <laughs> Rock of Ages. Rock of Ages. So you said like, Iron Man two. Rock of Ages. No, I said Iron Man two. <laughs> like he just laughs at Iron Man two. <laughs> <laughs> I want those figures so bad, and I want them to do more of this. I want them to do Iron Fist. They, oh god, I'd kill for an Iron Fist. I, I want Leadfoot. Like, if you're gonna do this, just go ahead and just do two and make me waste my time with what I've done already, and just do Leadfoot at this point. G two Leadfoot. Man, I would love to have a Leadfoot. Yeah. 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 Sigh. What a shame, man. Am I right? Yeah, I could have bought it on Wish. <laughs> you, know what I, you know what else I bet you wish you had, Brian? Studio Series Mixed Master. Meh. Meh. What are you then? <laughs> well, I guess I'm just going to empty my box and put it back in the closet of shame. I guess I'll just send that mixed master to Larry along with his Ion Storm and Shatter. What am I gonna do with the fucking other one of those? Uh, as G2 Thundercracker. Be generous to someone else. Yeah. I wonder who. <laughs> oh, I know! Nicholas! Yeah, send it to Nicholas. Yeah, he definitely would want one. He'll be like, I don't fucking know what this. Seth doesn't even like Transformers. He likes Bionic. Excuse me? I like what? Bionicle. Yes, I like the product of a thing I have never once owned in the entirety of my existence. Yeah. Because, you know, I prefer, you know, anything fucking else. Uh, yeah. Those are fucking fighting words. <laughs> Do you assume I already know this? Oh, I know. I'm just clarifying. Okay, good. Yeah, Anyways, okay. I cannot find a blue fucking Grimlock, and I'm disappointed. You know what you can't find? A Bionicle. <laughs> I was surprised that Max was looking for a Bionicle the other day. Oh, yeah, he was. Nerd. Yeah. I kind of want to find one of the ones I used to have and buy it again. He uh, wanted the white Rakshi, and I found it for him, and he got it. I think he got it. Did he get it? He did. Okay. Maybe one day I'll finally buy a Bionicle. Just to say you have it. <laughs> you know, Bionicle 2 Legends of Metro Nui counts. No. <laughs> You, you provide a good idea. Okay, Dakota, not Bionicle expert at all. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you knew more about Bionicle. I guess I should throw away my 150 Bionicle sets and more to see. 
I mean, I, I need more to see the, the one dude riding on top of a spider demon thing. So fuck I you. mean, he's on a fender. Brian, he's got a thousand followers now. Yeah, he's he, he doesn't he's better than see us as people anymore. <laughs> he sees I, I, I felt so bad. Even I, like even when I was joking the other day when I said that, I'm just like, Ugh, I don't like that. Yeah, you we should feel bad. Rats. I constantly talk about my 16,400 subscribers, which I love. I talk oh. about my 2.8 subscribers. 2.8? What? <laughs> one of the subscribers is still hesitant. <laughs> He's like, mm, I don't know if I like, I don't know if I like Lair the American Reviewer that yeah, much. Yeah, I'll subscribe honest. for now. I'll subscribe uh, now. Maybe he'll put something out. This, this like American really reviewer thing seems a little problematic right now, but uh, I'm, we're all forgetting. Video. We're all forgetting the most appreciated negative hundred people that I have. Oh, it's just you know, you know I, I like. Well, I even have followers. Yeah, exactly. those are I all like, fake accounts. I don't even know if I have people. I need to figure that. I, I like his food reviews, but I'm not so sure on the Secret Transformer show, to be honest. That those are your alt accounts. <laughs> I don't even know how many are on here. God damn it, fuck off. I don't give a shit. Is there anything else we can we 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 just do us? Holy fuck. Uh, I have hundred and sixteen. Whoa. I lost one in the last 28 days. Well, that was... That's unfortunate. That, that was that was Brian. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just blame him. He didn't like the alt account, so he left. Uh, everyone, <laughs> go subscribe to Zatsugi Reviews on Twitter. <laughs> Twitter... <laughs> I didn't know you could subscribe on Twitter. Um, I wouldn't be surprised in the future. Fair I mean, enough. Twitch. Twitch. I'm just playing with Singe. Thanks, the nagging guy, for the, the Singe. This is Singe, Twitch. more like cringe. <laughs> oh. This is the fifth fucking time I made that joke. <laughs> no, I decided, oh yeah, let's check out long since the last fucking video I uploaded. And I'm just looking at a third to last video and it's just me looking very concerned at me. <laughs> it's like, great! Stop. Great. It's like, we know each other. <laughs> I don't want to be here. Neither do I. It's like... So, uh, <laughs> as far as as far as the news is concerned, I think that's mostly the highlights that we haven't discussed. I think... I think so, yeah. Till we know more about, because we know that Comic Con stuff's coming soon. Yeah, we'll hopefully do one during that. People or is it gonna be any fucking like I mean, shit? I mean, there was that lead foot thing, but I'm not super sure on it. Yeah, it was funny. So the date said um, 726, and people were like, "Oh my god, look out for yesterday or yesterday tomorrow," and. Uh, <laughs> Nothing. It, yeah, nothing because it's the seventh month is July, not June. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, my favorite. My favorite thing about the thing was is there was no talk about Studio Series. There was actually. That's a lie. They they talked about like would they still want to do it, and they're like, yeah, we we still want to do that. Oh, and someone was ask uh, asking about the Autobot clones as well. Oh, yeah, and they gave some vague fucking answer, like, well, oh, for every good, bad guy, there's a good guy, and vice versa, so that's what we always try to do, just like, so yes? That would you probably yes. be a yes. That's probably a yes, in my mind. That is the most fucking awkward yes I have ever heard. It's like, well, there is, but maybe, I don't know, but keep an eye out, but don't trust me. Uh, I also need to make a point that uh, I think today, as of recording this, is the anniversary of Revenge of the Fallen coming out. I think so, too. Because I remember I, the original release date was going to be, I think, the 26th. I, I did look on Facebook Memories a little minute ago, and right now it's like 
one o'clock, but I think today was when uh, Age of Extinction came out six years ago. I remember that uh, for uh, for Revenge of the Fallen, it was supposed to come out on the 26th, so then normally they would put it two days earlier. Yes, and I actually June watched 24th, it. 2009. I actually watched it uh, the day of its original release date, so which was the remember, 26th. I remember Dark of the Moon was like supposed to be July 1st, and then they pushed it two days up for a Wednesday for some reason. Yeah, yeah. That shit's fucking mm-hmm. weird. And then, like, because I remember the Creos were supposed to come out on July 1st specifically for that movie, only for them to be like, fuck off, never mind. <laughs> fuck you! Fuck you! Yeah, tomorrow, which would be probably the day I'm uploading it, it would be six years. Well, how about that? How about that, boy? Ready? <sighs> well, I think that's everything, though. Oh, the last night was, like, couple days ago it was the 21st i i don't care <laughs> nobody cares about that movie that, that movie's just gonna be infamy I, it, i'll dread that day it comes around again it's got 15 percent on rotten tomatoes how about that it does yeah damn so without the way i think that's pretty much it for this podcast episode we did it guys we did it we did it in two and a half hours wow yeah. Hopefully the uh, uh, hopefully the video clip doesn't screw up as I'm trying to convert it. Yay! 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 Oh yeah, I need to check the comments on that one again. Oh, the comments are just first, second. Funny <laughs> <laughs> yourself. I can't make the farting noise on my arm. There we go. Oh, this. Okay. What the fucking buffalo? That is some prime humor right there. Guys, farts are officially funny. We did it, folks. We we brought back farts. Guys, please donate so we can bring back farts. <laughs> donate Just now so Dakota can have a bowel movement. I, I just farted for real. I didn't bother asking, but okay. <laughs> yeah, I was say, it must be the Mandela effect, because I, I don't give a shit. I mean, at least you didn't put it through fucking Facebook. I sure hope you didn't give a shit. <laughs> Wait a minute. During this, during this episode. Eh, Meg. I'm shitting. Meg is I'm the funniest. on the floor. Hey, Lois, Maggie is the funniest character ever. Yeah, I, I really yeah why are you lying about that? I really don't care, Peter. <laughs> hey, Lois, Motifa, more like he's cool. So Stifa. Uh, <laughs> hey, Lois, check out some of your reviews on MySpace. I'll do what I want. Please don't. Okay, other Peter. It is me, other Peter. How are you, Peter Griffin? Hey, you fat fuck. Hey, wait a second. I'm gonna You're call nice, your dad. That's not nice to say. I'm gonna call your dad. No, I'm gonna call your dad. My dad's dad. Wait, my dad's dad too? Do we have to say know you people? <laughs> <laughs> Well, you see, you <laughs> met me because of Brian's connections. It Why did you say to me, you little brick? It was Brian. <laughs> well, you see, get involved well, well, you all. see, shut up. No. <laughs> I don't want to. Well, you see, I am epic and you're not, anyway. That's well, right. you see, Lankara. Yes, yes, well, Peter. you see, Lankara. You should totally upload the Power Rangers rant. <laughs> It'll be out when it's out? Yeah, bull crap. You know what really grinds my gears? Linkara has not uploaded the next <laughs> album. I, I need to, yeah, I need to do that. I'm going to send that to my friends in the morning. I'm going to send them out as a voice message. You know what grinds my gears? Mega Constructs. 
What was wrong with the name Mega Bloks? What? I don't get it. I just, I don't, I don't, I don't get it anymore. You know, I just really don't understand life right now. You, you know what grinds my gears? Doofensburg is evil incorporated. <laughs> like, what the hell? Part of a balanced breakfast and delicious. Why do you get off? Dakota, sign yourself out. <laughs> Uh, I'm playing Minecraft, and maybe we will again someday, but, but we'll see. <laughs> okay, I guess that's his channel. <laughs> don't, don't you know that's the whole channel name? It's a weird acronym. He doesn't need to promote his, his channel. He's got a thousand subscribers. Uh... Uh, I'm Zero One Trans fan. Go check out my channel, please. Uh, I I need love and attention. I I've never gotten any love as a kid. Set. <laughs> Can I just request to cease to be? I'm so glad we're on our A game stage. <laughs> I've been sitting here waiting. listening to all you fucking people that there's Dakota just showcasing what he's playing instead of what he is. And I'm just, I don't. We'll put you on the waiting list. How about that? Do you still want to be a jar of mayonnaise? Huh? It was in a previous episode where we were talking about, like, what if God could re recreate us and he starts screaming and you want to be a jar of mayonnaise. I don't remember this. And Larry said, come on in, my child. And I said, the water's great. <laughs> I don't remember any of this. No. I like an highlight waiting to happen. <laughs> Apparently. Where's the Where's the animated highlights? Uh, whenever I feel like it. Okay. It'll be out when it's out. The next Jeopardy episode. Larry. Yeah. I am so glad we're on our A game. Larry, sign yourself out. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Uh, I got Larry. Confused. This is our A game. Everything uh, wrong. Hi, I'm Larry. Um, can we put some can, can we put some pog champs in the chat? Uh, Fucking big pogs. This is this is a total poggers moment here. We uh, stand. We uh, stand. Pog pogger. The great pogger. Anyway, I am Larry, and that's all you need to know. Bye. Okay, well, with that out of the way, I'm Brian from T Fan Page 101 and Told the Doom. I'm sorry. Bye. <laughs> In right there. <laughs> I guess that's it. Later. <laughs>